Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Horseman Mania here. Coming at you live from Toronto, Canada. And uh, we got, uh, of course, <laughs> we got to have the pay-per-view. Of course, good old CR's here. Well, it's a pleasure to be here in Toronto, north of the border. I had my first taste of poutine, and let me tell you, it wasn't what they advertised. It was just fries with cheese and gravy, for God's sake. <laughs> Yes, it sounds like something else, folks. We know that. Uh, maybe maybe because it's so good, it's, it's almost as good as sex. But uh, we're, we're going to have the women's tag team title match here coming down right now with the Vagina Dialogues. Well, let's throw it to Gene for an interview. Gene, glad you found your passport in Ivana's uh, underwear drawer. Thank you, thank you, CR. I'm here with uh, Keys, manager <laughs> Keys. He's got his team. The What the hell does this say? The what, Vagina Dialogues? What the hell kind of name is that? Wrestling for the title against these monkey, munchy thingies. Like, what the hell? Just say something. <laughs> well, Gene, good to have you back here at the pay per view. But let me tell you, Obscene Gene, that a uh, very long time ago, I became the first women's tag champion manager. I've missed that belt since it became defunct. Now that it's back, its home is the Ass Clown Coven. Queefer is 300 pounds of pure woman and pure rage. And Jamie is well-versed in whipping the competition. <laughs> Together, they will bring back what is rightfully ours. The future is candy apple red, and it will be delicious. Well, there you have it, CR. He says that his team here is a powerful, big 300 pounds. Whatever, back to you. Yes, sir. That's uh, good old G. I've seen Gene here joining us and uh, uh, talking backstage with Keith Carranza, the coach, the, the manager of the Vagina Dialogues. Brand new team that's formed here just for this, uh, this about. And... Speaking of their opponents, we're going to come here coming out right now. And you smell the weed and you smell the nacho cheese as well. That's, that's the munchies, folks. Uh, good old, uh, of course, you have, uh, 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 what is her name? <laughs> Shit, I don't remember their name. I know Mary Jane Blunt. Oh, and of course, your favorite. <laughs> yeah, the girl you've been shacking up with a little every now and then. <laughs> Misty Furberger. Well, let's not tell uh, La Tarantula about that. We, I don't want to end up getting a Colombian necktie. <laughs> well, uh, we saw them in the uh, women's tag team title match. Getting that belt. Keeping that belt. No getting it. Uh, Misty performs the Kotex KO on Geisha Genji and pins for the title victory. Have a look. A little teetering. And now here comes all oh, the Kotex, Kotex KO. Now got her. Damn, Jesus Christ. You knocked her out. You flop down like a like a damn fish. There's one. There's two. There's three. <laughs> Thank God it's over. The munchies have won the title. Uh. That's them, ladies and gentlemen. That's the munchies in action, fighting the fighting the bee, uh, the the Asian persuasion, and uh, doing a hell of a job too. Uh. Of course, we got uh, we got our own poutine here. Oh, the girls, the girls looking vicious again. We starting out. It's gonna be Misty, and of course, uh, Jamie, Jamie Blondie. Yeah, I think I'd put Queefer in there first. She's an ample woman. <laughs> She's uh, got ample gas too. I wonder if it's gonna incorporate that into our plan tonight. Right now, going for a suplex here. I'm gonna try not to let my personal feelings get in the way of this, but oh, there you go, girl. I'm gonna slip right out of it. And oh god, cracking the egg on oh, the knee. Oh, dumped her right on her head. For God's sake, now she's laying the boots to her. I was wondering what that other smell was. It must be the Admiral down there. Uh, probably that son of a bitch hasn't showered in about three years. I'll be talking with him later tonight. We're going to put G uh, Obscene Gene through the ringer tonight. He's got, we got a lot of interviews to set up. Oh, I just hope he stays away from that open bar for long enough to get through this. You know him. You've lived with him. How, what are those chances? Yeah, chance well, that? there's not enough Tito's in Toronto to satisfy that man. Cracking the neck. Pop, 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 pop. Now just slamming her on down. Right now, Misty taking taking control of the situation very handily. What did the what the Admiral try? He, he tried to say that Gene smelled like a dead monkey's ass. <laughs> yes, uh, he couldn't get it out. Uh, if you uh, enjoy the Facebook community, uh, you might have caught that a uh, little special for you behind the scenes type type of thing. And now Mary Jane Blunt working over uh, working over Jamie. Don't Punch get there. don't get too close. You'll get a contact high. Uh, those dreadlocks just getting yanked. It's kind of wringing the, the patchouli out of him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't, it, and, oh, okay. I thought no tag was happening here. No, she's uh, Queef, not ready yet. Oh. Queef, Queef, there was a guy in a cheeseburger in the first row, and she was heading over there. <laughs> well, it's like, are you going to eat that? <laughs> yeah, just bought the thing. Oh, and now it's, slammed down right on the back of her head. Now possibly a tag. And, yes, we're going to have a tag. Let's see what this move is. Well, at least oh. they, they look like a tag team. They're, oh. both, they're both wearing black PVC. Mm, <laughs> I kind of like it that way. Oh, she's got the green PVC, and 
Uh, Misty, well, she's got multicolors. Now, not even before she can get to the, the ring there or the corner. Well, all of these uh, these outfits are quite revealing. I'm going to tell you, Misty looks good in hers, but oh, there's a monkey flip. Oh. No. And don't say anything about any. Uh, monkey that's what ass. it's called. It's a monkey flip, for Christ's sake. <laughs> monkey ass. <laughs> Dead monkey ass. That's right. <laughs> Old side Russian leg sweep. Now I'll tell you what the back of uh, the back of Mary Jane Blunt's head has really been taking a beating on this. You got to wonder if she might be possibly concussed. Well, that was a kick there. I think I think uh, Queefer was concussed there, missing the kick. Oh my goodness! If she'd have hit the floor, the whole ring would have shook. Oh God, we felt that. There it is. And now going to, we're going to the corner, teaming up here. Oh wow, flying forearm there. Oh, Misty, don't let her drop that ass on your ribs. I'm hoping for something tonight. Oh, did I say that? I'm sorry. I'm hoping for a little scissoring tonight with those two. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> Why the hell not? God damn it. And now, oh, still going and crashing into the... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Nobody home. That was a speedy move there, but still was too slow. <laughs> too, it was too fast for me. I didn't see it. Good old Queefer. She's moving like a girl half her size. Got the quickness. Not laying the there. boots to her. All stomping away. And, oh, we're going back to the other corner now. Thark. Oh, try it again. Oh, same thing. Look at that. Those cat-like reflexes on the big girl. Strike two. Now we're going to the other corner. Oh, no. There's another flip. Uh, just call it a flip. I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> More monkey flipping. <laughs> flipping you the monkey. No. Flipping off monkeys is what they're doing. <laughs> and now we're going to the corner again. And we'll tag team. The yep, there's going to be a tag team. Just don't let her drop oh. that big ass on you. Just, oh, slammed head right into the boots. Like kicking her, but the other way around. Well, it's a nice tag team move, showing some good continuity working together. Stomping away now, kind of blocking off the, the lane to Mary Jane there. Mary Jane's lane. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to get in that lane, actually. Uh, the Admiral's out there trying to bribe someone in the first row to get him a couple hot dogs. He's getting a little hungry. Coming around here with a, a fist to the ribs and dragging her by her hair once again. Well, Look. she's in no woman's land, if you will, uh, over in the bad corner, but now they're going to pick her out. Nice uh, belly to back suplex. Oh, I thought the teamwork was coming in, but not just yet. Uh, Jamie needs a tag. She needs to, to get Queefer in there. We've been running, running on empty right now. And we're going back to the other corner. <laughs> oh, the Admiral's happy with himself. Look at him clapping, raising his hands. Jamie fighting out of the corner. Yeah, he, he's happy because he just passed that uh, that one thing in the bathroom. Uh, it's not good. Oh, <laughs> it took, definitely doesn't smell good. So they made it, took a big dump, did you? Uh, teamwork here. Double oh, backdrop. Double backflip. There you go. Backdrop. You're right. Man. Working together. Oh, she missed a big stomp. Trying to make the tag. And, and another kick. It that didn't was, hit the mark, but there was a nice side rushing leg sweep. That was, a, that was a, a sweep the leg Johnny move right there. Oh, now she's John with the Admiral. He's saying, yeah, you know, you're, you're fat. I'm fat. Let's get together. Let's make some big fat. She's saying, I can wear your pants, big boy. <laughs> no, oh, there you go. God. Right by the hair, dragging her head down. Dropped her right down on the back of that head. Oh, don't try to suplex her, honey. Don't get a soup. Don't get a hernia. Off the. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! They just crashed into each other. That's like, oh. oh wow, what a slam that was. A little pancake move. Dropped her right on her face. Roll out of the ring. Get a breather. Oh, don't go there. She's gonna suplex you back in. Don't oh. do it. Don't you do it. Uh, oh, oh, just knocked her right off. off. Little fist of the head there, taking her down. And now looking. Oh, now she's moving out. I don't want to waste too much time here. Don't want to let. Wait, okay, you're going to waste time. I just I just said not to. What she do? She doesn't. Looks yeah. like some half-ass exotic dancer out there. What the hell is she doing? Oh, jawbreaker! Oh gosh, down she goes hard. And is this a count? Are we getting a count? I don't think we are. I think this is a statement. I don't think Kangaroo Jones can count to ten for Christ's sake. <laughs> after all the head damage, after all the concussions he's had, oh, it's not surprising. Laying her over that apron. Oh, oh. smashes the head down. There goes her jaw. <laughs> her jaw is now three inches behind her. Now. Picking her up again. She's gonna try to pick her up. I wouldn't pick her up if I were if I were missed her. That might oh, be she comes in with another forearm right to the mush. Yeah, now she's in the stance. Oh. Look out! What's she gonna do? Do not suplex this girl. Got her. Wind up. And Neck up. breaker. No, oh, she gets powered away. out of it. She was going for the uh, the Kotex KO. Oh, she KO. reversed it on her. There's the neck oh. breaker. Yeah, I think that was the Kotex KO that was getting set up, but uh, yeah, she wasn't oh, having any please, of it. please, let's not talk about feminine hygiene products during this match. <laughs> well, it's their moves. <laughs> you got to kind of stick with the names. Now going to the corner again. Oh, with the elbow. And uh, Doug's, I think she got a, a piece of Jamie on the on the side there. <laughs> oh, wow, that's not good. <laughs> that's not better, not better in my head. It's not even better coming out of my mouth. Uh, not coming out of my mouth. Oh, okay. 
Good God. <laughs> Let's move on. Oh, now grabbing her. Another neck breaker. Look yeah. out. God. Oh, smashing why did, that Mary skull. Jane, why didn't you grab her hand? Now she, the big girl's in the stand. She's getting ready to do something Dude. bad. Don't drop that ass. Yeah, Don't do it. Qu Queefer taunting her. No, oh, it's top oh, right to the face. Right on the forehead, the face area. She's going for the going oh. for the move here. No, she's just oh. coming down with a double axe handle. She goes for the Queefer move. <laughs> One of them two blasters that she's got. Oh, good God. Here it comes. She's in the corner. Uh, oh. Another, another non-mentionable flip. Exactly. She got flipped out of there. We're not going to... I'll reach in for it. Mary, yeah, Mary Jane looking for that tag, but poor uh, Misty's in a bad way. In the corner again. <laughs> That's the wrong corner that she needs to get to. Oh, for God's sake, get out of She's there. Don't, don't let her do it. Staring her kind of a, a loving glance here. This is, what's get, that? What's get, that? What's get, that? Getting a little hot in here. <laughs> Think, uh, come on, yeah, Queefer, do something. I think she's trying to catch her breath or something. Maybe she has gas. It's, <laughs> it's, it's moving through. Okay, well, she waited for it. Now she's going to go right back to the corner again. I'm going to stare at her again. Uh, what is her problem here, folks? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not really into politics, but she kind of looks like Joe Biden there, just standing there, probably <laughs> dropping a load in her pants or something. She might. Uh, that's uh, material in there. Good for keeping it in. Now into the corner again. I guess she wants to stare at her in the other corner, but no, we're gonna go, we're gonna go back and forth. Hopefully, they're not stuck in a loop here, uh, not to not to kill the illusion or anything. Oh no, she just jams the elbow right into her face, and now oh, there's bulldog. Oh god, slamming on down. Let me just clarify that last remark. I am no fan of the orange one, but let me tell you, I call it as I see it. <laughs> yeah, it was a mine's a little slow on on, this, on the uptake there. Oh, well, you shut up, man. <laughs> That's gonna be telling us right now. No, into the corner again. Oh, off, Misty off needs to make a tag. She's been there forever. Yeah, we got to move here. Oh, what's this going to be? Uh oh, looks like a double team maneuver. Look out. Oh, Doomsday device. No, she dropped the. My God. She dropped her ass on yeah, her. Yeah, she dropped the, the goods right on her chin. No, oh, Mary. Oh, she, was, she wipes <laughs> out Kangaroo and kicked him for good measure. <laughs> Outstanding! I love it. Yeah, that's, that's kind of against the rules, but I guess if there's no one to call it, uh, you're not going to get busted for that. Well, if he can't see who kicked him, he can't call it. And now, oh, going right oh. over the top rope. Admiral, you keep your hands yourself, you goddamn albino bastard! Don't oh. make me come down there. Well, that's his wrestler, so if he can help her out, that's a possibility. He. Oh, that's the right. I'm sorry about that. What the hell? I'm say. Now, elbows, elbows galore. <laughs> Opposed to pussy galore. No, oh, God, you heard that right off the face, like, right on the apron. I'm distracted by all the latex in the ring, for Christ's sake. Yeah, now more forearms coming in, driving the floor, just walking away. <laughs> Can't get away from it. Oh, that gonna be oh rolling under the. Oh, it's, I guess he get really excited about Look that. Look at the admiral uh, over there. It's like he just won the lottery. <laughs> now going back in, opportunity here. Make the tag. Make the tag. There, there you, you go. go. Oh. Get the fresh girl in the ring. Here comes, uh, what's her face? Uh, Mary Jane Blunt. Mary Jane showing off. Take, I, take a I, time she doesn't have. When I say fresh girl, I mean the rested. Oh, somebody tossed a chair and was that the Admiral? Uh, I think it might have been. Yeah, it had to be the Admiral. He was yelling, where are the crowd? Sorry, I'm yawning. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's past my bedtime here in, in Toronto. <laughs> no, actually, it would be different. Well, I don't know. <laughs> God damn it, they're in the same time zone as you are, you dumb. What oh, are you doing? No. Okay. Oh, there's, there's, oh. A, there's a queefer fist. Oh. Wow. Flying through the air with that one. Yeah, I don't know how she got up the. She defied gravity on that one. For maybe, God's sake. maybe she's full of helium. Huh? No, <laughs> that's probably, not I, I, noted, I have noted. No doubt she's full of gas. <laughs> that blowing out helium, maybe that'd be a hell of a trick to put it. Put a balloon down there and and it goes away. <laughs> What's her finishing move? The big queef or something? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> one of these. Uh, I forget the name of it. I don't have it written down either. <laughs> I, I rarely remember the names of these moves whenever we're doing these casts. And now, says it's saying, lick my boot. Lick, lick the dog shit off my heel. Good God. Uh, so, we're well, showing off here. I just, this is not smart wrestling for, for Mary Jane. Picking her up once again. And now, so, oh, oh, God. That's, short arm clothesline reminiscent of Jake the Snake Roberts. Almost flipped her ass over tea kettle. Now, going back to the corner again. Uh-oh. Another double move. Another team move might do it. Getting her, uh, getting her set up. Uh oh, uh, it's gonna out. be. Yes, look it out. is. Here it comes again. Up she goes. Swamp. <laughs> she just pussy whipped her. And now the pin. That's basically what it was. Oh, she's. Oh, what's going on? It would, the, the fucking admirals down there jawing away at the referee. Come on, throw him out. You can't see it, but you can know, always do it. Well, we're going round, round, around again under the turn. Oh wow. Just oh, bounced man. off of that one. Don't show your favoritism for that big goof outside the ring. Uh. 
Well, I can't stand the, the, the other. The well, I can't hair. either. It's just the lesser of two evils. <laughs> well, I tried to get Misty to sign with CSE, but apparently she's in an ironclad contract. Oh, oh right to the back of the head. <laughs> it's the bitch slap. And now, take it around over. Pump oh, handle. Pump handle slam. Blah. Down she goes. And a quick pin. Head slipping out of the way. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, my God. What just <laughs> happened? The vagina dialogue. Just taking care of business. Oh, dear. Do we have to call them that? Yeah. Like, can't we give them a different name? <laughs> I don't know how many more matchups we're going to have uh, for that women's title. So, hopefully, it won't be right there. You see the boots to the face. And up this uh, double great view of this one. Woo. Oh, Tony goes. She goes. Away she goes. And now, this one. Oh, God. Couldn't we call them, like, the roast beef twins or something? <laughs> <laughs> they might take that under advisement, though, considering who their manager is. He's not too fond of you. <laughs> now, another tag made here. And this move. I don't even know what you call this. The the, the, the beef carton press. There you go. <laughs> That's basically what it was. Could you imagine if, if this roles were switched? And Queefer was down there. Queefer was up on oh, the Oh, for God's sake. She, she'd been annihilated. She'd, she'd go through the mat. All of them would be there. So there you go. Take them. Good Lord. Back away there, Rue. Uh, cheers, tag team champions right now for the moment here at Horseman. Oh, dear. Uh, You're probably offering to give them some horsey sauce for that roast beef, you sick bastard. <laughs> uh, don't forget the cheese. No, oh, dear God. <laughs> All right, uh, when we come back, we're going to be hitting this men's TV title match coming up between El Loco and uh, Manus Nutsack. That's right. This is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more Horseman Mania action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Horseman Mania here. Coming at you, this is 2024 edition, and it might be the last edition, so enjoy it while you can. Coming down, uh, well, she's announcing right now. Nobody's coming down. But this is the men's television title match. And there it is. <laughs> the crazy one. Don't you know he's loco? Yes, it is El Loco. And uh, we were talking to, uh, actually, Obscene Gene was talking to Aaron backstage. Let's go ahead and have a listen. Obscene Gene, take it away. All right, thank you very much, Jesus. We're here with the Mega Maniac, Aaron Varhul. I can't believe I've got to interview this guy. Jesus, he's got his man, El Loco, the illegal alien who snuck across the border going against the Admiral's nutsack for the TV title. What do you think about your boy's chances? I think that I should concentrate more on illegal immigration from the Nordic countries. El Loco has been standout in the HWA for over 30 years. He has had two kids here. He's going to get his title back at Horsemania. Well, that's great. But speaking of ice, I need some more for my vodka. Somebody pass me another martini. Back to you, Keith. Thanks for seeing Gene. <laughs> it was great to have him doing interviews backstage. But, uh, yeah, that's El Loco, man. Gonna be, he's going to be challenging this uh, this guy who uh, kind of came out of nowhere, really. He just, backstage, he was fighting Lance Butkus, and all of a sudden, he's got a belt around his waist. It is, in fact, <laughs> unless they do the choo-choo train thing. There he goes. Good old choo-choo <laughs> Charlie. There he goes. <laughs> and uh, we saw, of course, Manus Nutsack winning that title or defending the title. I'm not sure. I think he won it. Uh, but uh, he performs the flying tea bag on Damian Bloodless. Yes, Damian Bloodless trying to challenge him. And uh, he came up flat. Uh, Damian Bloodless, I think, is fired anyway. But uh, he pins him for the win. Have a look at it. Up once again here. High flying move. Dad. Gonna be the rolling. That's it. Oh, got the, got the flying tea bag. There's one. There's two. There's three. I can't believe it, man. It's not second. It's Peyton. Damien Bloodlust. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Manus Nutsack, which is uh, a Swedish, a Swedish, Scandinavian for man with a nutsack. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was easy to translate. Well, thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> I mean, the other, the language is usually like, <laughs> you can't even tell what the hell they're saying. In well, Swedes. Let's see if we're going to have huevos on our caro after this. Oh, a oh, little gesture of good faith here. Is he uh, going to psych him out? Or he's not, oh, he's no, not, no, he's, he just wasn't having it. But punching him away. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Is this a specialty match? Pop. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I was going to say, what the hell happened to the managers? They have to pop in after for those things. Uh, it's the game, folks. Get used to it. And now just kind of shoving out local away, rolling him. And he's back up. Yeah. Tango. Another shove it. Just a man is nuts that guy throwing his manhood around. Oh, not I that beg way. your pardon. Not that way. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> he will be if he's going to pull that flying tea bag. Yeah, he pulls a tea bag. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> completely stomping in the wrong direction. Oh, just slapped out of the air. My goodness gracious, he's learned a few tricks. What's going on? This, no, is, this is like Rocky Four all of a sudden. This, this is this blonde guy taking care of El Loco. 
A tan, a tan guy. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a... Oh, nice snap suplex right there. not trying to make a, a social commentary there. <laughs> a, they're tan. You know, they, they, they do that. No, dude, here's a, here's a high knee. I mean, well, a high knee. Well, you know, those Scandinavians are not much for the sun. Yeah, they burn They and burn peel. easily. <laughs> oh, Joe Loker just gets slingshotted over and right, right into his hands. And oh, slammed down again. Good Lord. Sit down, pot roll. It wasn't really a pot, but it just dropped him right on. Oh, whatever. I think we may have huevos for picking... For actually picking oh, Loco. Oh, Nice uh, flying leg there, and the, the megalomaniac. Oh, oh, another big knee. Look at this. Jesus. Oh, Lord. I, I think the locals are out of his element here. He hasn't fought this guy. Now elbow comes in. He's usually good on the fly, though. Another one. There you go. <laughs> Bring those feet flying around. He's a quick pin. Cracking out your, the luchador moves, trying to confuse the big Swede. Only getting one pin there. Right now, you got the uh, Admiral down there. He's, he's, he's hurt because he lost one set. Oh, one belt. big fit. Is he Swedish? Do we know what his nationality is? Uh, Swedish or Norwegian or something like that. <clears throat> he be, was born on a cruise ship. Might be a fan of mayhem. I'm not sure. <laughs> those crazy bastards. And now pin. In the position. One. No. Oh, oh kick out kangaroo out. Jones with those cat-like reflexes. <laughs> oh, there's a kick to the spine. In the back of the head. And flying Oh, shins. dear God. Right across the throat. Yeah, he's choking right now. Keys. Key, or, sorry, that's oh, Aaron. Look at, look at the megalomaniac distracting, getting into it with Manus. And that's just enough time to there go. You go. DDT on I'd like, the I'd like to see. I'd like to see Aaron Morhula get the tea bag. <laughs> Of course, uh -oh. wouldn't, wouldn't he's going be, under. It wouldn't be the first time. Here comes the chair. <laughs> now he's tossing a chair. Oh, there's nice insiguri right to the back of the head. At least when the other guy, at least when Admiral brought the chair in, you couldn't see him. <laughs> that was in broad daylight. Now oh, look at this. They're all in around. Whee! There right he goes. into the ropes. Got caught up there, but he's trying to make his way up, but he's laying the boots to him. And I'll say one thing about El Loco. He's got a lot of stamina. Now, uh oh, the bueno. Here it comes. Comes its bueno. Down he goes, and if he goes for a pick, oh, Admiral's oh, up now. Oh, get your goddamn albino jerky ass off the apron. Going for a day, not even phased, one. Oh, he kicked out, though. Oh, for God's sake, Kangaroo, Thanks. concentrate on the match. That's a rarity. Yeah, Kangaroo paying no attention to the Admiral. Well, yeah. who does? <laughs> yeah, everybody does in the smell. You you want to make sure it's, he's not coming out of the bathroom when you're going in. Oh, oh another high knee. Another big knee. No, oh, no, look he's going at crazy. It. He's doing the curl. He's <laughs> woo, 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 <laughs> And he just stands there like a jerk, checking his elbow or his shoulder. Jeez. Oh. Oh, a block, though. Come on, El Loco. I think he wore himself out doing that. Oh, another foot. What was that? It was shaking something off there. What was that? Oh, I Aaron. I, I prefer fajitos and tacos to gefilte fish. <laughs> comes, comes around, though. Goes for a punch. Gets a glancing blow. Now we're back in the corner again. Oh, a glancing blow. That's the last one that the Admiral got. <laughs> it comes out. Uh oh, big bulldog. Bulldog on him. And Aaron's up there. There he goes. There's a megalomaniac causing distraction. Nope. Kangaroo. Like I say, what's good for the goose is good for the other goose, and that's uh, exactly what's oh, happening here. More yeah. interference. Who got goosed? <laughs> End of the court. Oh, oh no. Forearm right to the forehead. Right to the stop. He's still missing that stomp. Oh. He's, he's not so good with the left side, I I'll think. I'll tell you what, half of our wrestlers, they need to wrestle with their contacts and their depth perceptions. There's it. a pin. This might be it. There's one. This isn't it. No, oh, not even a two-count out of that. El Loco's too tough. He's a fighter. And uh, Manus, he does, can't believe it. I have no problem believing it, but he doesn't. I, oh, oh, he bloody him. him. Oh, right in the nose. Oh, a, a, a bloody El Loco. As much as, oh, my goodness, now he's going to try to snap that arm, put him in a submission move. And the, the submission master, El Loco, is with that. Uh, El was able to slip, slither out of it. As, the, as much as I can't stand the megalomaniac, I got tons of respect for El Loco, but this is. Oh, oh look, look at that! Wow, what a whirly bird that was. That was a rolling thunder. And now, woo! <laughs> I think he just did the Ric Flair woo. Because <laughs> even though the other guy looks more like Ric Flair, now the sweeping leg there and stopping away. I think he was alerting his, his countrymen in, in the uh, stands. He yelled, Policia! <laughs> Policia. Policia. La Migra. <laughs> Abu Gado. <laughs> Abu Dhabi. Oh, that's enough for me. That's enough for the Spanish. Now waiting for, just trying to get him on his feet here. And, oh, nice sit down move. He bounced right back up too. That was he looked crazy. like Jamie Bondage on that one. Yes, he did. No, he, he got up a lot quicker. That was almost like a teabag maneuver. He's, he's starting to show little signs of wear here though. He's definitely getting a challenge. Now he flipped around. Oh. That's a powerful suplex powerbomb type of maneuver. And now the big man's going up top. He's I can't believe it. Running crazy again. There he goes. Here comes Choo Choo Charlie. 
Now Loco. Is got, this a teabag? Got to pay attention here. Is this a teabag? And oh, no, just crunch oh, of the knees right off the top. Big knee off the top rope. He's feeling his oats, if you will, and the Admiral doesn't know what to think of it. Now he's going back up top. The Megalomaniac better pull out some stops here. What's going on? Come on, throw him, throw him some smelling salts. Get him up and running again. Going up again, sitting. Here it comes. It's going to be. He got him. Oh, oh my goodness, God. this could be it. Pin. This could be There's it. There's one. There's two. Hey, oh, El Loco, <laughs> it's the last two and three quarters. He kicks out, and the Megalomaniac's like, what do you think? My man's better than you, you big dummy. <laughs> Damn blondies. <laughs> Speaking of blondies, I tried one of those one time. They're pretty good. They look like brownies, but they're made with like well, lemon cake or something. I've, no. had, I've had blondies, reddies, brunettes. <laughs> I've had them all. And baldies too. Oh yeah. <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> well, they call Misty Ferber, but it's more like a landing strip. But I'm not going to get into that. Let's now. just call the match. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Yeah, the referee getting caught up all over the place. I think he pulled Kangaroo in front of him. That was a cheap shot. That was a sneaky move by him, and now we're going to the corner again. Well, uh -oh. sneaky, look who he wrestles. Another one of those bulldogs. Bulldog. Oh, my God. There's a bloody nose that he has, too. Now going for the oh, pin. Oh, the Megalomaniac not trying to interfere, but he just, did he kick out, or did he just no, decide not to pin him? Just distracting. He's just nuts, running around the ring like a jackass. Got plenty of energy. <laughs> no doubt about that. Saying so, look up again. Another flag teabag. That's going to do it if he gets it. Here he comes. Oh, no, just comes in with the elbow. Okay. A little anticlimactic there. Now, a uh, fist. Another fist. And, oh, wow. Good just, gracious. Fast and furious. Three straight moves. I'll tell you, I'd like to see somebody chloroform the Admiral and shave his head. Trying to turn the <laughs> turn his head around like a bottle cap. Come on, El Loco. No, he's too far away. Come if he tries your, it now, this would be a stupid move. Come to your He's senses. never going to make it. Oh, my God. I can't believe oh, he flew like that. Oh, my goodness gracious. There's one. There's two. Oh, oh my God. God. Two and 99 nines. You know what I mean. I can't believe he kicked out. Two and a whole bunch of nines over a one and zeros. And now going to the corner again. It's the chair is still there waiting to be another oh, bulldog. Another, another well, I'll tell you what, a, a tornado bulldog. And there's the megalomaniac. Once he's, again. He's distracting. One of these guys is going to get kicked out if they keep interfering like that. Now, <laughs> send the shockwave up. And... Well, in my, in my opinion, the Megalomaniac's been the one to interfere, and the Admiral's kind of been behaving himself just a little bit. Well, the Admiral's the guy is the one kicking all the ass right now. He's trying to put him out, put him to sleep. Is he going to do it? Is, is El Loco going to give up? I've never seen him give up. Look at that red hair. He looks like H.R. Puffin stuff or something. <laughs> what the hell is... Looks like he's got a, a fucking red-headed octopus on his head. Now, more pop in the neck. Poppity pop, 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 pop. Pop. <laughs> Oh, no. kanger, Kangaroo intently paying attention until somebody gets on the apron. And uh, Yo Loco slipping out for just a second. I don't know. Oh, how that's standing help. drop kick right on the mark. He's going back up again. Another high flying move here. Another tea bag. Well, this time he might do the tea bag. Oh, no. This oh, oh, macho elbow. There it is. The macho man elbow. This could no. He's scooping him up. This could be a mistake. Should have went for the pin. And with that bloody nose. I, I can't believe he's, he's hanging on like he has. Is that all that blood pouring has got to be distraction? Oh, this now. could, this might be it. There's one. There's two. Again, oh, with again. The kick. Oh, I cannot believe the resiliency of El Loco. El Loco in the fight of his life here, just hanging tough. Now stomp it away. He wants to go away with that belt. You know how, how much El Loco likes gold. <laughs> Looks those doubloons and the whatever the, the Spanish <laughs> are. Oh, this shit. could be another tea bag. It could be it. He's waving him up. Get out of Look the out way. Look out, El Loco. Get Look out. out. Way. Look out. God, he got him again. Uh, wasn't, wasn't able to get a pinning predicament, though. Phoebe, he's got a pin here. No, he's, not, he's still not done. Aaron's trying to take the turnbuckle pad off. He's distracting every way, every which way he can. Oh, if El Loco wins this match, give it a big assist to the Megalomaniac because he's been on that apron Punch half the match. Oh, Look round, that. Over, round, uh, round foot kick. A little roundhouse thing. kick out of nowhere. Stunned the big man. Now he's working on that shoulder. Huh? Can I pop that shoulder out of the case? It makes it harder for him to climb the ropes. Definitely. Uh-oh, he's in a stance. This could be a, could be a bueno bomb. Is he going for the Mui Caliente? Oh, yes. There it is. Submission yes. maneuver. Oh, it's very spicy. And now, is he going to give up? I, I, I don't see him giving up right now. I think he's still got plenty of energy. And he does What's he doing now? He's still holding. Oh, he got kicked out of it. Hmm. Oh, he needs to use that chair. <laughs> That'll get things moving quickly. Oh, grabbing the face mask again. Grabbing that. Just grabbing hold of the nose. It's, it's already bleeding. Oh, now he's banging it off. Ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and oh my god. Oh, El Loco's on Dream Street. He's not going to have a nose after this. It's just going to be gone. <laughs> it's going to be El Loco with a big hole in the middle of his face. 
And now well, I, take, I guess uh, man is taking a, a moment for himself, too. I'm sure the megalomaniac knows a good plastic surgeon. <laughs> for, for very good reason. <laughs> no, I, I didn't say that. <laughs> Come well, on, wait. Waiting for him. Good Lord. Don't wait a little longer there. A little straighten his nose out in no time. What is it? El Loco looks like he's... But like getting it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's taking it. But uh, man is just let, giving him a breather. It could be a mistake. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is a mistake. Nice leg sweep there. That was a drop toe hold. You see the blood on El Loco's chest from that bloody nose. But oh, oh god. my god, he tried to suplex him, got a knee there. Oh my goodness gracious! Another bottle cap move there. Another pin. Might there's, be. This could be it. There's one. There's two. No. Oh, I cannot believe See, this. That, I cannot believe the tenacity of this man. That mistake, uh, letting him get all that energy back. That was that was a bad move on Manus. Now with the forearm. El Loco, he needs to mount some offense. I mean, Manus has really been taking it to him, and he's just a big, powerful man. And El Loco just doesn't, he doesn't have any answers for it. The referee's got to get out of the way more often too. He's going to end up on the flat on his face. Again. Oh, oh wow! Stomps right on that wrist. On the back of the, was it the wrist or the shoulder? I think he got everything. He's got uh, huge feet. <laughs> they were all in. A guy like that, he's got a big foot. We're popping the popcorn here. Jesus Christ, he's not going to be happy until he pulls his head off. Now a pin. One, two, and a kick out of the kid. Oh, uh, El Loco is definitely given, uh, is, uh, earning his paycheck today. He, he's the Rocky Balboa <laughs> of the HWA, for God's sake. Takes a lick and keeps on ticking. He's just trying to hold his breath right now. He got that, that squeeze on, trying not to pass out. <laughs> Well, what you do here is you're just putting your weight on him. You're making him uh, you know, expend some energy trying to wear him down. Uh, a little rope of dope in there, <laughs> in a way. No, uh, he's not going a very for good that way. Submission move again. Uh, okay, trying to break the, the chest plate. He was able to roll out of it easily last time. He's be able to do it again. But he pops up. Is he got any offense left in him? Oh, oh he went for <laughs> Instaguri and missed, and then Nusak missed, and now Iloko Bueno bomb. Oh, here it goes. No, just a regular power bomb. And he's pinned there. One, two. Oh, oh my goodness, I thought that was it. Yes, El Loco catching his foot on the rope there. He would have caught he would have caught the back of Manus' head. But I thought it was gonna be a, a sneaky victory, but now it's a bueno bomb. Oh, here, here it comes. comes. Ready? It's bueno! Oh. Down he goes. How many people has he put away with that? Here we go. This could be it. Taking his referee out Getting of position, of course. One. There's two. There's three! Oh my god, I can't believe it. No. He, he was beaten from pillar to post, and now he's a champion. And he earned it too. <laughs> I've never seen anybody earn a belt more than more in my life than he just did. Right there, you see this move. Just kind of, well, you, we'd be nice if we saw the entire move. Yeah, we would have seen it, but, you know. <laughs> you know, let me say this. I mean, hell of a match for Manus Nutsack. He, he, he really uh, uh, represented himself admirably, but he was just facing the, the, the pit bull, the tenacity of El Loco, who just somehow finds a way to dig deep and get that victory. And you definitely got an assist by Aaron on that. <laughs> he was well, up on yeah, that he five interviewed times. about five or, or interfered five or six times. Well, look at that. Uh, you're the mess. <laughs> it's like he's been shot. <laughs> you know, it's like we say, a man sees his own blood. He can either do one of two things. He can rebound or he can go into a shell, and this man fought through it. Congratulations. As much as I hate to compliment anybody in that goddamn West Coast Alliance with the Megalomaniac, this man earned it. Very much so. And now, Jesus Christ, it looks, like, it looks like it was used for target practice. But anyway, go get yourself a towel, clean yourself up out here, Loco. When we come back, we are going to have the women's TV title. It's going to be Geisha Genji versus Maggie Skukumchuk. Uh, this is the Animal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. We come back for more Horseman Mania action. El Loco, I got a tequila for you at the after party, buddy. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Horseman Mania. You're going to be hearing that bell a lot. This is the big pay-per-view. we got nine titles to exchange. Uh, this one is going to be for the women's TV title. And, uh, yeah, we don't turn her microphone on. <laughs> In case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear. They just want to look at her. A lot of candy. Coming down right now is uh, for the, uh, is, uh, this is the Fugu's Dynasty. Yeah, there he is, Mr. Fugu. Finally got a, a new jacket. It's not moth-eaten. Uh, and coming down right now is Geisha Genji. Well, there she is, as Aaron calls her the goddamn Godzilla. Let's, uh, I believe we have an interview with her. Let's take it away. Take it away, Gene. All right, thank you, CR. I'm down here with, oh, my. Did you bring my General Sows? I'm down here with Mr. Fugo. He's got the goddamn Godzilla Geisha Genji women's TV title against Maggie Kokomonga or something. What do you say there, Fugu? Ah, Gene-san, good to have you back at pay-per-view. Yes, I will be brief because I am in the middle of a delivery. It is time for Bucket Ass to be beaten and stomped by the so-called goddamn Godzilla. You will pay for your shenanigans, Mr. Aaron Varhula. 
You will pay with platinum in that women's television title. It will be ours. Well, there you have it. C.R. Fugu says he's making a delivery. I hope you remembered my goddamn low main. Back to you. Thanks, Gene. Back here with uh, good old <laughs> good old Mr. Fugu. <laughs> well, I don't know if I said we had an interview with her or whatever, but uh, of course she doesn't speak English, so uh, Fugu's her mouthpiece, and, and he doesn't speak that good English either. Well, he's starting to see. He's, I noticed he's sorting out his, his R's and his L's a lot better than he used to. Coming down right now, <laughs> your favorite, the bucket ass. There she is, old bucket ass. Well, you know, I, I, I got to give her her props. I do respect her, but you know, she's got an ample backside in those overalls. <laughs> and that uh, I like that shiny, shiny shirt she's got in the past. But uh, actually, we got to, we were backstage with uh, Aaron again. <laughs> we know we know uh, Obscene Gene likes to talk to Aaron. So, yeah, go ahead and uh, take it away there, Obscene Gene. Obscene Gene here once again with Aaron Vargas. Jeez, how many times got to interview this bonehead? I'll tell you what, he's got Geisha Genji, the goddamn Godzilla, going up against Maggie, the dump truck. What's her name? The girl with the overalls. Whatever. She's defending her title, Aaron. What do you think? Well, if you weren't drinking CSE dry at the open bar, you'd know that her name is Skookumchuk, or Skookumchuk, depending on how you say it. But she's going to retain that title and plant that goddamn Godzilla into the mat. Well, there you go. He says that the big girl in the overalls is going to drop the big Godzilla. It's going to be like Mothra and Godzilla. Back to you, Keys. That's her, ladies and gentlemen. That's Well, that was uh, Obscene Gene with Aaron Varhola. But there you go. Right there, the bucket ass supreme. That, you got the <laughs> Fugu was doing like the robot out there. Yeah, well, you know, Maggie normally is uh, the bigger of the two in her matches, but she's got a you know a, a formidable opponent here. And oh my goodness, Gene sounds like he's already starting to go south back there. Yeah, I, I imagine it's not going to be long before he starts uh, having problem with the footing. Uh, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta tell Chaz, no more open bars at the pay per views. Uh, Make that son of a bitch pay. He's, well, a, he's the cheapest man alive. If he had to pay, he'd be drinking water all night. Just for him. Give, give the rest of us wristbands, okay? At least we respect the decency to leave some alcohol behind. Right now, Maggie's uh, leaving leaving Geisha Genji behind. Yeah, quick start for her, grabbing her by the hair, drill oh, right on top of the head. Drilling that elbow, drilling like it's an oil field. Uh, Aaron, cheering away. You know, I, I've seen Geisha Genji without her makeup Ooh. on. She's an attractive woman. And, oh, what, what a, a throw there. Yeah, that's a dragon screw leg whip right there that torques the knee. Now it kicked to the face. Yeah, big boots in the face. And now just just choking the life out of her. <laughs> Not even a wrestling move. <laughs> oh, look at look at the megalomaniac out there cringing. Now their nice little uh, arm throw. drag takeover. And Maggie's following it up. Grabbing that hair. So you really put oh, it to use. Oh, tossed her, tossed her oh. like a like a sack of wheat or a hay, a bale of hay that she has on the farm. It's landing hard on that apron. I said hard on. Now we're oh, kicking away. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> There's nothing sexual about these. Well, I mean, there are some sexual things. Oh, right there's a, a crotch to the, the barricade. I mean, Gage has got a hell of a body. You can't tell much about Maggie with those overalls on, but you know these two are going crazy right now, just ramming each other off the apron and off the barricade. We're, where, where's our diarrhea cameraman? Is he back in the <laughs> toilet again? We got no camera outside the ring. He's, he's a tough guy to keep up with. <laughs> oh, nice stand and drop kick. Now it's the, uh, the bathrooms here are sanitized, especially for him. Yeah, for your protection. <laughs> right now grabbing the hair. We're going back over to the... To, no, we we're not going anywhere. Taking too much time. Oh, another elbow to the gut. Or the belly, I guess. Gotta, the women's have bellies. <laughs> women's. <laughs> mm, women's. <laughs> Yummy. And now, stomping away, missing. Oh, nice chop slap there. And go! Oh, big suplex. Nice nice belly to back suplex there. Now she's laying the boots to her, picking the grubby girl up by her hair. Now, oh, coming around here. What is this? Oh, oh wow. my goodness. A modified kind, type of a back break. Uh, Fugu, get your goddamn goofy ass off the off the apron. Look at you. Fugu's going to get planted with <laughs> that big girl right in his face. Well, it's enough of a distraction, and now she gets one in the mush. Now it's, oh, just pounded away in the kidneys. Oh, but an elbow comes around. Oh, a nice back elbow, backing her out of the corner. Now a little flip there, and now she's trying to fold up. But oh. a little, uh... That'll break your nose with that flop. And now kicking away. A little single drop toe hold. Now she's got her in the corner, following it up with, oh, trying to boot. Kind of hit it and missed. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, more of a split move than that. <laughs> I'm sure Aaron got an eyeful. Now the pin. A little quick pin here. There's one. I'm only getting one count of that. Though. Far oh, too early. Yeah, it's too early. She <laughs> hasn't worn her down enough, but now she's kind of feeling good about herself, celebrating. But Maggie's back up, <laughs> got a vertical base, and thrown her into the ropes. After a missed punch. Now going, oh, oh. sneaky move, grabbing the ropes like that. <laughs> uh, she missed one clothesline. She didn't miss on that one. That, oh, another stomp to the nose. 
You know, a lot of broken noses here in the HWA. Oh, another drop kick to the face. Oh, a little slide and drop kick <laughs> around the side of the head and the face area. Good go out. Now she's got an arm bar on her trying for a submission. Angling her up, trying to get out, trying to get the, the give there. I don't know if it's going to happen. She's, she's a tough chick. Nope, not having it yet. Nope, finally coming around. Starting to get some leverage, and she is able to slip out of it. Oh, oh with a few punches <laughs> to boot. <laughs> <laughs> Worked her way out of it. Now she's going down. Is she looking for extracurriculars or just taking a walk? Oh, look at this. Just a <laughs> That's attitude for you right there. But now as she comes out, because it play, plays right into her hands. Yeah, it gave her the business, suckered her out of the ring, and now she dropped her on her back. And uh, getting blocked there. There's a fist coming down by Maggie. I think it's a close-up of cameraman. A little zoom, please. Hey, invisible by their accent. Where's the Mexican announce table? <laughs> they, they abandoned ship. I don't think they let Mexicans in Canada. I don't know why. Canada is like North Mexico. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. Now I stomped to the back. Just choking her away. <laughs> nice. Now she's stomping away. Oh, ah. Laying the boots to her. Now she's all excited. More ch more, more <laughs> primal screams. And you're finally going for a pin. I don't know if that's going to do it. <laughs> Referee taking this good old time. <laughs> that, that pin was not going to happen no matter what. There's just way too many things against it. And now an elbow coming in to crack her in her schnoz. Is Salva in the building yet? <laughs> I know he's supposed to be around here for his title match against Joe. Now, <laughs> kicking away. Coming. Oh, clothesline oh, taking her on down. Took her, took her right off her feet with that clothesline and now picking her back up. Having that blunt. There's a little kind of a throat chop there, but no, oh, we're going to get kicked to the. Uh, try to try, cause that Charlie horse. Now, into the corner. Oh, another, another nice reversal. back elbow. <clears throat> Coming with a powerball, oh, big, big powerball. Power oh, sit down, powerball. Surprised they don't go through the mat with that kind of force. More cheering away. Flips are over. Taking too much time for these pins, though. No way Gage is walking away with the title. There's one, there's two. Oh, a little, little more of a challenge this time for Maggie. Oh, the megalomaniac. <laughs> He's got to be, got to be worried right now. Picked up again, and now another forearm strike. And kind of a chop there, but Fugu with a couple of uh, oh. oh, slapped her right across the face and knocked her down. Now she's gonna stomp on that armpit. I'm gonna bitch slapping. And oh, chin oh. breaker. <laughs> yeah, big old jawbreaker. Now she's gonna try to follow it up. There's the megalomaniac. <laughs> trying to <laughs> she's trying to attack Geisha. Geisha's uh, preoccupied here with Aaron. Oh, she's oh, she's the tangled. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, that kind of pulled her knees right out. Yes, that could have been a, uh, a knee injury, but now she's rolled her up, but I don't think it's enough. One. Two. Oh, oh, barely kicking out there. Almost made a liar out of me. That had to be, she had to be hurting after that one. Yeah, that? I think that knee got caught up, might have torqued the uh, ligament in there. I could, I could really change the the uh, course of this match. Another. Oh, look at uh, these double up. axe handles taken. Now she's, oh, look out. Oh, oh big spear. And back up again. And she's still not done. What is this? Oh, here comes Lord. Oh, and slam and splashing in the, in the corner. And she's still all, all over top of her. All over top of her. That's right. Aaron. What's this going to set her up? Oh, we might have a, a little high-flying action here. Is it going to be the, the hay baler? Oh, goodness gracious. Off the top rope. Don't you do it. Yes, it is. Going for that hay baler. Oh, God. It was oh, I'm surprised. It doesn't Dropped like her a, right on her god darn head. Doesn't look like an ostrich sticking her, <laughs> her neck sticking out of the mat. No, she's in a stance again because it would be a log jammer. Well, it could be. We got a hay baler. We got a log jammer. No, it's a well digger. Here comes. Oh, just digging that well. Oh, wait a minute. The log jammer's a righty. Former righty. Kenny would ever. <laughs> yeah, that is too. Now a pin. Whatever. I don't know. That well might digger, be Well digger, log jammer. This could be it. Double There's duty. Two. Oh, she retains the title. I think he's skilled him, Chuck. Hanging tough there and uh, taking advantage of, well, <laughs> taking advantage of Geisha Genji's stupidity getting locked and tied up in the ropes there. Aaron must be happy. They've defeated the goddamn Godzilla. Hmm. See a little move there. This is a very... Bad replay, guys. I don't know why you're showing this. <laughs> it wasn't even a successful pin. And she kicks out. You know, not every pin deserves a replay, folks. <laughs> now, the, yes, we get to see her howling at the moon again. And howling again. Okay. This is great replays, guys. You, you guys realize you're fired. I think she was yelling bonsai. Shades of Mr. Fuji. And a, a one count there. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Nice, uh, there nice was a nice sit-down power bomb. Uh, showing off again. <laughs> Uh, is this is this the Geisha show off show? I, I, what is this? there's a pin. Well, she had most of the offense, and, and we got two count out of that one. Maggie hit a couple and got her. Uh, there it here's is. the move. That could have been oh, it. My God, could have been it. Could have could have stretched out that knee ligament. Maybe she was feeling a little bit, but uh, 
Maggie hit double duty with the uh, hay baler and the well digger. Yeah. And we say, you know, that's what that's how you win. There it comes, the hay baler. That, that is a bucket ass, isn't it? <laughs> nice little show there. And, of course, we're not going to show the actual pin, but we don't care. We, well, we, we saw it the first time. We hardly ever do. Our crack production staff. <laughs> no, our production staff's on crack. Is what the problem Somebody is. wake the guys up in the truck, will you? <laughs> so there she is. Uh, another another win there for her. Kept keeping that belt. And I think she might be on a, on a way to trying to set a record. She's not going to set Morning Glory Hill's record or by any chance, but she's starting to get a nice little chain of events going there. So with that. We're going to cut away. we got the men's tag championship match coming up. It's going to be special delivery versus law and disorder. Uh, very, very tough men, I'd say. And, okay, we got the freeze frame. Uh, okay, this has been this is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA Horseman Mania action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Horseman Mania here. Uh, coming at you live from Toronto, Canada. Coming down right now. Where's the, oh, <laughs> And Mr. Fugger just phases right through the, the gate there. <laughs> it's a hell of an entrance, by the way. David Copperfield couldn't do that shit. But now we, we're seeing the special delivery here is, uh, of course, the Triple V and Big Dick Gazinia. Yeah, these two nut burgers. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Special delivery. Return to sender. Let's send it down to Gene for an interview. Take it away, Gene. Thank you. Thank you, CR. Here I am down here again with Fugu. Gene's too tight. He just hung around here the whole time, and he didn't even bring my low main. You got this idiot team of special delivery trying to win the belts against Law and Disorder, two of the meanest men in the HWA. You have enough to pay their hospital bill? Ah, uh, Gene son, I have business to take care of. I have shirts to starch and to wash. But I will say this, this Law and Disorder, very tough crew, very mean, very ruthless. But special delivery have package for you. Just like Lo Mein and Muga Guy Pan? No, they have special package down lower. <laughs> Don't bend over in the shower there, policemen's. Well, there you have it. He says that they got a delivery for lawn disorder. I wish this prick had a delivery for me. I'm starving down here. The vodka's starting to really pile up. Back to you. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is special delivery here. Brought to you by Mr. Fugu, who we just spoke with. <laughs> He's uh, <laughs> not a fan of CR or of, of uh, uh, Epstein Gene either. Ah, here it comes, though. They are the law <laughs> and disorder. Uh, that is uh, good old uh, corporal punishment and Buzz Pigman. Company, of course, by Chaz Segner. And uh, we're going to replay. Well, yes, we do have a replay for them. Uh, it's the Men's Tag Championship. The corporal performs a crossface on Timmy Chang, <laughs> forcing him to submit without much of a fight. <laughs> yes, he, uh, you can tell by my comments uh, exactly what, the, what I feel, was feeling about that. Go ahead and have a look at it. You can mention the catwalk crippling, but that's a completely different move. It's a that's a figure four leg lock. <laughs> now, once again, trying to cripple, <laughs> trying to cripple his ability to see straight. Timmy Chang now, he's asking asking for if he wants to tap out. Is he gonna do it? He does! Oh my god! I can't believe it! He taps out! What a puss bag! That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is law and disorder. Ready to fight for this battle to keep that uh, belt, those belts. Well, two of the most unpleasant men in the uh, HWA as far as disposition. Well, they certainly get the job done, I can tell you that. Hey, I know I wouldn't want to uh, <clears throat> make them angry. Yeah, well, of course you're going to meet them at the after party. <laughs> that is if, uh, it, I don't know if they keep their titles. Well, if they hold on to these belts, it'll be a good night. If not, it could be a little <laughs> rough. So there's the belt. We're going to be starting off with Triple V and Fuzz Pigment. Right now, oh, a little back and forth there. And, oh, God, kick to the, there's a special package for you. <laughs> oh, just knocked him right off his feet. That special package just got swollen. <laughs> went from yeah. a, went from a medium to a large. Yeah, special delivery, postage due. And now grabbing that hair, picking them back up. There's not much hair to grab with uh, either Corporal or, or uh, the Fuzz Pigman. Yeah, you're not going to handful of those mops. And then turn them around. Kind of look, a little belly belly action here. Oh God, slamming them all over. You know, no offense, but uh, if you were able to be Triple V, I don't see how these guys can't. <laughs> yeah, Triple V was a uh, guy. I had him off guard there, definitely. But uh, he's he's probably dialed in now. But he does have a partner, though. I don't know how much help his partner is going to be either. Well, there he is outside the ring, the standard bearer of the HWA, the leader of CSE, Chaz Segner. Yeah, that guy. He's the finest, the the finest uh, administrator of any stable in this in this whole organization. Well, we know where you stand, stand on that uh, lineup. Ah, oh, cheap shot, though. <laughs> nice, nice little cheap shot. There, there you go. A double, double team action. 
Oh, God, drive right to the ribs. Who the hell think paying for my penthouse suite with the uh, cat or the open bar, for God's sake? Well, you know where your bread's buttered anyway. Exactly. That was slingshot boy, yeah, 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 off. And if my it, bread isn't just buttered, it's toasted. It toasted, you get the cinnamon sugar exactly. on it. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of, I got some of that at home. I'm going to have, have some after this. Or uh, in my hotel room, anyway. <laughs> hey, Chaz got you a nice room. Yeah, it's, it's a nice room. Uh, of course, it was a, just a larger version of a broom closet. Uh, you're, you're even invited to the after party, and you don't have to check hats. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> it's gonna. I think it may, maybe pay for my ticket, though. <laughs> it's like a hundred dollar plate dinner. Uh, so, just make sure you get your money's worth at the buffet. Yeah, I get a lot of shrimp there. Well, now, the corporal tag is made. Yeah, you know, there's a big. Here comes the big dick going after the corporal. <laughs> It's, he'll punish him with his big dick. Uh, Miss Ellie still has nightmares about that night. What is, what is he doing? Uh, he's <laughs> he's gonna, giving it, oh, oh, kind of dropping him on his face and the ropes. Kind of like a modified gourd buster. He didn't go all the way down, but oh, there's, yep. look at that. Nice Does, hip toss. Doesn't phase him one bit. He turns right around and throws, uh, throws the big dick. <laughs> throws it over his shoulder. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Oh, fist. Stomped him right down. The corporal will not be intimidated by size or girth. <laughs> Much like Misty wasn't intimidated by the size of her. I knew that was coming. Something was coming. Oh, shit. Now, trying to... Got to get... Uh, he picks him up just fine. Still flailing around. And look Look at that. Smash. Oh, that's, that's power personified. That man is about 6'10", well over 300 pounds, and the corporal one arm slams him down. And I think the corporal's only like 5'11". He's a little, little bit shorter than... Uh, me. <laughs> well, used to be shorter than me. I'm shrinking my age right there. Oh, there goes Kangaroo! <laughs> kangaroo taken out by Big Dick pretty much. Oh, he's got to keep his head on a swivel. Now we're going back to the other corner. <laughs> a little, little Hulk Hogan move there. Yeah, the corporal giving him a little what for. <laughs> now there's a nice tag. Double team maneuver. Let's see what's happening here. And a little twist there. Twist and deny oh, away. Oh, that. It was a flying, flying toss to the turnbuckles. And now... Coming around, going for a tag. Fuzz is just going to let him. No, no, no. He, he gave ran up. out of gas. He's like, oh, it's too much. That didn't work out too well for him. Now, oh. stop smashing the knee. Smashing that kneecap right on the right on the mat. Now he's going after that leg again. But he, oh, boot, boot to the face. Corporal trying to stir up the crowd there. That's unlike Corporal. He normally is for, for quite quiet. And, oh, God. He tripped him onto the, onto the ropes. And what's this going to be? Oh, just driving him and trying to choke him out with the rope down there. Finally bounces back. Going for a tag with uh, the... It was actually a, a, a scientific maneuver by the big dick. A little drop toe hold, dropped him across the uh, ropes, tried to choke him out. Now here comes... Purple package. Uh, <laughs> not, not to be confused with the MXC character. Now just busting the, the arms, sending the shockwaves. Oh, and the crowd oh, oh, There's scooped about old Triple V. There's all I like to call him Preparation H. And the crowd is not a fan of Triple V, obviously. That was a leg sweep. And the crowd's... Okay, now they're cheering for him. Will you, will you, crowd, will you make up your mind? No. <laughs> oh, I just swatted away that drop kick. Fuzz said no thanks, but now look out. It's a oh. towel, a nice tangling, nice counter by yeah, Vic on that uh, one. Rock bottom. Setting, setting him up. There goes one. Oh, no. <laughs> Not even going to get a one count out of that, barely. And now what's... I think uh, big over the, the, the mat there, Big Dick is, is jawing away to Chaz Segner. Does he want a piece of me? <laughs> I don't know. Old Fugu, he was uh, jawing with some people in the front row. Chaz there with his arms folded. All right. the confidence in the world. Right there, I think Fuzz was a little confused of what he was going to do. So much, so much action going on. Now another, another tag is made. Team, oh, team Fug effort here. Fugu still, he keeps pacing around. Double team move. Look God. at that! Oh my God, what a move that was! That was the, that was the postage received. I think I'd call I'll call that because <laughs> that was a signature move. And now we're knee busting. Uh, that old chair comes in by Fugu. Oh, that dirty bastard out there. Go back to po poisoning people at your restaurants. Uh, and just uh, overstarching their shirts. <laughs> now coming, oh, coming in with a kick and taking a knee out. And we're going back to the back corner for him. Oh, oh it's flying ass. It's a rumper stumper. <laughs> uh, coming around. Step oh, God, stepped right on the back of his head. Well, I wouldn't be surprised to see some blood flowing here by the time these, these guys are done. Nor, nor neck popping. Poppity pop, pop, pop. Down. <laughs> Slam. Well, hopefully, hopefully it's on the uh, special delivery end. Really, the special delivery is working over Fuzz Pigman right now. It's like the opposite of Rodney King. And now stomping on the back oh, of the head. Oh, for God's sake, I go there for <laughs> crying. Letters and everything, hate mail. <laughs> I'd be happy with any mail. Right now, it's, uh, I guess he's trying to get the submission from Big Dick's ass. I'm not sure what he was aiming for. I was trying there. to fist him. <laughs> Fisty cuffs. 
And now, oh, oh, that, oh here it comes. Oh, look out. <clears throat> it's going to be. Oh, just falls right through. And now choking away, not letting go. That yeah, wasn't really a choke slam. Just kind of took him down by the throat. It was a choke after the slam. But the oh. corporal's telling people, come on, we're <laughs> the best. Here's a big, look out. The battering ram coming up. <clears throat> Short distance. Ah, there with him. I almost spear, spear, spear. I almost took him out of the shoes. And now pin. And the purple package is coming in. There's two. Oh, just barely broken up. But now, now Vic's going to pay for it. I just oh, he dropped him right on Dick's knee. Right on time. He's just using each other as weapons. Speaking of, there's a chair oh, there. there. Oh, another, another trip. Another drop toe. Hold on to the ropes. Now he's going to try to choke him. Again. What's he going to do? Good. Good job, ref. Here it comes. Oh, oh. Just sitting on those, <clears throat> on the shoulders, trying to push that neck into the ropes. Putting his danglers on the back of his neck. Oh, keep the danglers to yourself. <laughs> no, another choke move here. Up way high. There's a big no. choke slam. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, he missed that chair. Oh, no, it's a pin. There's one. <laughs> There's well, almost the two. Corporal comes in and breaks up the pin and says, go suck it. Well, at least Corporal isn't taking out the referee instead of the actual guy pinning. <laughs> and Mary Jane blood's a, tr a trip. <laughs> now stomping. I think the over-under on Kangaroo getting clocked during this paper <clears> was four. Oh, just he got a fucking atomic drop right there. Trying to get the tag, but he can't do it. Well, now he's trying to go. Oh, I thought he was going to go for like a uh, modified uh, camel clutch. No, dragging him around. <laughs> they dragging him around on the chair. Yeah, like a ragdoll. You got to roll him over for a pin, you dummy. Oh, working, still working the arms there. Dick, the big dick likes to take out the uh, upper appendages. Yeah, well. And then he takes out his lower appendage. Exactly. Puts, a, puts it on Miss Ellie's shoulder. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> Mary and Joseph. <laughs> I'll tell you what, just standing there. What is it with it? Is it, is it like a pot in Toronto that's like killing weed? Know, Fugu's wrestlers are just lost. And stomping away. Just, just, just he's starting to get back up. I think it's a confidence, trying to deflate his confidence. And now. I well, caught him with that knee coming in. Now oh. a big clothesline takes him down. The corporal begging for a tag. Fuzz needs to make one. Can he oh. make it? Only shoves away. Got an opportunity here. He's sticking in there. Not giving up. He's, <laughs> he's like that, I'll tell you. <coughs> now. Oh, oh, now a chance in the corner. Gonna be tag. Yes, a tag move coming up. What's this one gonna be? Another what? Another that twisty move? Oh, driving the knees all the way in the back. Now pin. And here comes purple. Can he take him There's out? Two. Oh no, he'll sit there and look at him. Now they got it. Oh, he's slipping out. And Fuzz has to back away. He doesn't want to get disqualified. Not that they're not that that ever happens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> When's the last time that happened? Oh, rolling out. Oh, big boot. I think we have one DQ in the history of the HWA. Right now, you get the fresh man in. And here it comes. Oh, Jesus Christ, oh, laying that fist in. He put that fist right in the ear hole there. <laughs> Not the asshole, the ear hole. <laughs> now, breaking the arm there. Big guy. Off the ropes. No! Oh, oh. Nice back elbow. All I can say is if Joe Petito wasn't disqualified for a triple power bomb, nobody should be. <laughs> now, picked up. Oh, they're trying to get up. No, just uh, rolls out. I'll grab him by the back of the head. Oh. Another, another corner shot. Oh, fuzz grab. Kind of turn turned him around. around. Yeah, they kind of messed up their rhythm, I think. Uh, actually hurt them. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think he, he got both of them with that. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Vic got the fist and oh. he got the forearm. Bombs away on fuzz. <laughs> and then the corporal there. Jesus. Making him smell his armpit here is a, a Dudley Boys type move. Those yep. guys. <laughs> Shades the old pit stop, huh? <laughs> yep. Oh, now no, oh, no nice, reversal. Nice, nice side headlock. I don't know if he worked his way out, but now he throws him away looking for a move here. Look at the size difference. Unbelievable. This is just a giant, and now he's flossing. <laughs> oh. Carpool, get off of there. Oh, there you go. Tickling his testicles with that rope. <laughs> better, that, better that than wasabi. And now. Yeah, well, <laughs> don't tell Saul. Oh, another, another shot again. here. Another chug. This time for Corporal. Oh, my God. Sitting on him. And we're, we're teabagging to the back of the skull here. Now, uh-oh. Another choke slam. Try, try for the coast. Can he fight out of it? No. Nope. Oh, boy. I, <laughs> Jesus. Oh. oh, he wore himself out a little bit with that one. Now going for a pin, but that was distraction oh. by Chaz. Is it Chaz or is it? Yeah, it's uh, Chaz. Is I thought it might have been the corporal. Oh, see, he's not the cleanest guy, you think. He, he, he was just telling him, what are you doing out there? He says, let's <laughs> tighten things up. I'm sure that's what everybody says to him. That's he, kind of a strategy. He was critiquing his uh, refereeing, I think. And that was. Oh, he's talking to some. Oh, now he's talking to Big Dick. <laughs> What's he saying to him? He's like, "You are a Big Dick." <laughs> oh, still, still drawing. Just giving, giving this guy time to rest. That's a good move by Chaz. He's like, "Nice suspenders, bozo." Turns around. Oh, spins right into it. And here it comes. What's this gonna be? <laughs> wow, busting him halfway to the ceiling. 
Oh, I want to see an unlucky seven on one of these bastards. And, oh, he's got the position. See, I think he heard you. There it is. Oh, here it comes. No. No. Oh. Son of a bitch. No, no, no. no yes. There it is. Unlucky seven. <laughs> Let's count them on. Let's fake. count them. Count them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, and the unluckiest of all. There it comes. Number seven. Bang. Down he goes. Got a, got a pin. Pin that hippie son of a bitch. There's one. There's two. Oh, oh I, I don't know why Vic didn't come in on that one. Guess he had confidence in this guy. Hey, might, have, <coughs> might have soiled his shorts. <laughs> he could do that. You know. Oh, big atomic drop. Well, what can Brown do for you? And now dragging him to the center of the ring here. Dirt, oh. Dirty my laundry machine. <laughs> now just staring down. Not going for the pin at all. What, what more, is wrong with these idiots? More stupidity on the part of these uh, Fugu wrestlers. Uh, that's just poor man. You don't see these mistakes made by CSE. Nope. They don't let up on anybody. It picked up again, but now an arm throw. Yeah. Wake up over there. Get yourself yeah. some caffeine. Yeah. Christ. <laughs> Where's my drink? <laughs> oh, you slapped. That's going to piss off the corporal. He slapped me. Paintbrushed him. How much caffeine they got in this stuff? Zero? What the fuck makes decaf tea? What a, that's bullshit. All right. Well, who the hell buys it? <laughs> well, somebody who didn't pay attention to the label. <laughs> I guess I share keys as a thing for reading the fine print. <laughs> oh, here it is again. Oh, now this one, not, this one oh, might do it. Count them out. Boy, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Right in the ear hole. Here comes Ed. Fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like a weeble. And oh, the, what are you oh, doing? Don't, don't show off. Hey, what is he? You gotta get down to come corporal. Come pin if you're gonna pin. No showboat. <laughs> oh, oh, he wants double to double duty. duty. Double duty. Comes this uh, dishonorable discharge. It looks like he's got him. Can he get him up? Yes, he does. Oh, gets, gets him up that way. And now ah, discharged. They're out of here. And a pin. Get oh. in there, Fuzz. And oh, don't break it up before the pin can. And now they're now they're working. Pay. Oh, he's gonna work purple oh, over now. Take him out. Pick him up. Oh, just a big power bomb there. Now would be a good opportunity. You uh -oh. see, Vic. He Vic might is, go for another dishonorable discharge. Vic is out of commission. This is good timing. <clears throat> this could be it. If he hits it, it's over. Uh. It's, no, what oh, do you it's do? reversal. What the hell just happened? They reversed and stomping on his little thighs. <laughs> We're a little higher. Not sure. You know, crowd booing. Crowd not happy with the corporal. Should have taken advantage there. For God's sake, Vic is out. You got to get the pin now. Yes, do something, just, you big dummy. Finally stops a little late. Now, oh, reversal. Oh, DDT to the back of the head. Pin him. Pin him. No, he wants to, he's got to finish on a strong note. And if this would be the strongest note he's got <laughs> in his orchestra, it is the dishonorable discharge once again. Pin him. Pin his ass. He does. There he goes. And the pin. Right in the center One. of the ring. Two, three. It's all over with the crying. They defend it. <laughs> Vic is still gone. <laughs> He's still on Dream Street. <laughs> hmm. What do we got here? Oh, not going to see any replays. Uh-oh. This is, sometimes means trouble. Oh, oh. oh. They're not done yet. Look they're out. They're not done yet. Look they're, out. It's stomping on Vic. Trying to kick Vic. No, they're stomping on Big Dick. Oh, my God. This is poor sportsmanship. Oh, they're stop. yelling at him. Oh, stomp him. Unhold him and walk it dry. And they're just kicking away. This, this is uncalled for. This is ridiculous. You Toss that trash out of the ring. You got the title for Christ's sake. Oh, my That's God. That's called making a statement. That's called, yeah, a statement. It's uh, just shit the bed, I think. It's like you suck. We're the champions. That's a hell of a statement. So, well, that's a nice finish for you there. For those of you CSE fans, uh, not too big on that myself. Well, that would be me. That would be you. <laughs> it was Co beautiful. Coming up, uh, we're going to be approaching halftime here. But first, we're going to have the women's national title match between Pretty Miss Scarlet and Morning Glory All, the first lady. Uh, this is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. And come back for more HWA blah, 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 your Horseman Media action. Ah, I got it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, HWA, uh, Mc, not McMadness. <laughs> I'm just doing the damn uh, Aaron thing. Oh, well, for God's sake, we get it right. It's Horseman Mania, Horseman Mania. That's right. Say it one more time. Horseman Mania. There it is. <laughs> All right, coming down for this uh, show here, this is this women's national title match. Pretty Miss Scarlet, and uh, she is, uh, <laughs> oh, she's fucking hot, man, I'll tell you. Oh, keep in your pants. There he is, the Admiral, the, the you know, the man who said Gene spells it, it's that monkey's ass. But <laughs> take it away, Gene. Let's get this interview in. Thank you, CR. Thank you, CR. See, oh, God, I need something to eat. I'm here with, uh, oh, Admiral, you smell like shit. What the hell is the problem? But you got pretty Miss Scarlet against the first lady of the HWA for the 
women's national title. What's your game plan? Well, let me tell you something, Jay. I may smell like shit, but you smell like you've been drinking turpentine, for Christ's sake. Let me tell you something. I'm pretty much got it. She's going to go against that first lady of the HWA. And pretty much Scott is going to be the first lady when she knocks the first lady into the ground, baby. We're going to bring that national title back to the Admiral's fleet. And we're going to be setting sail to glory. Well, there you have it. The Admiral says that she's going to beat Morning Glory. Oh, I wouldn't uh, but I wouldn't bet my paycheck on that one, pal. And get to, go take a goddamn shower. Back to you. Thanks, Jane. And that's, of course, uh, Mr. Uh, sorry, sorry, Admiral Bruce. You, you, you. We should just record each, you know, keep track of each interview as he descends deeper and deeper <laughs> into the realm of inebriation. Well, was he starting to wobble a little bit there? No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what the hell is Saul doing with Morning Glory Hole? What is this? Oh, normally we'd see, uh, see Jazz Signer with, with uh, Morning Glory Hole with these special events, but I guess he's, he's tr entrusting Saul oh, to the my, job here. Uh, could be missed, but you know what? She's the first lady of the HWA, the showstopper, the main eventer. He has all the confidence. Even Saul can't screw this up. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, she didn't screw up last time for that women's national title. She uh, gives the flying fuck to Misty Furberger. Oh, let's see that. Oh. Uh, the, the flying fuck with her and Misty Furberger. You were creaming in your pants over there. And uh, she does get the pin for the for the victory. Have a look. Uh-oh. Another, another flying fuck here. This could do it. This could be the back-to-back -back we're looking for. Up high. Duh! Nailed her. She got her. Got the leg, too, quickly. There's one. There's two. There's three! Morning Glory Hall once again in the Platinum. That's her, ladies and gentlemen. First Lady Miss Glory Hall. You know, just for the record, I haven't creamed in my pants since I was about 13 and out of wet dreams. So let's just keep that to yourself. <laughs> uh, or a nocturnal emission. Nocturnal emission, that's right. <laughs> uh, premature evacuation. I never had that problem. No. <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't call it a problem for men. <laughs> it's a problem for women. <laughs> but I don't know, just getting ready to start up here. And there's the bell. There two, we go. Here two blondes. She is. <laughs> two blondes yeah. fighting away. Mm. <laughs> oh, what, wasn't that a band? Two non-blonde? No, that was different. Yeah, Sorry. they were non-blondes. Yeah. Look at the admiral out there. <laughs> he just somebody get that man a haircut. I know. Seriously, it puts the headband on after after the interview. So I don't know, oh, I don't know what the hell is. Oh, Got to oh, keep the hair out of his face now. Oh wow! Dropped it right on the back of the admiral. Owns what three shirts? All of them <laughs> ugly. That's all of them looks like somebody threw up. Saul, pay attention out there, you dumb bastard. Ready for the throw? Toss the chair in there if she needs it. I don't think she, oh. she's not much of a chair user, I don't think. She, no, she, she pretty much, you know, she, you know, she just beats him with her tactical knowledge. There's a nice little uh, <clears throat> kind of hook uh, suplex there. Now she's, oh, right oh. on the head. <laughs> Knee right to the forehead. Trying to bust that melon open. <laughs> not melanoma. <laughs> now, oh, drop kick. Oh, a drop kick to the back of the head. Oh, another stomp there. Oh, she's just starting to take over right here. And, oh, kind of breaking her little arm bar going on here. We were squirming around. She's got to be in pain. She's got to hit that nerve. Still flailing around. Oh, God, she's not going to be able to get out. She's not going to be able to use that arm. Morning Glory will not give it up. Oh, she really, wants that really, submission. She's really putting a lot of torque on it, oh. trying to hyperextend that elbow, but pretty much Scarlet rolls out, and now she's got to go behind. Oh, oh, she's oh it back. God. Caught her in the throat with an elbow. Yeah, caught her with that uh, kind of back elbow forearm type thing. Now she throws Oof. her into the ring, and Saul doesn't know where to cry or whine his watch. I don't know. It's right now, so I've got to think that uh, Miss... Uh, oh, nice drop toe hold after a little... Uh, she she kind of worked her way out of that with a little flip, and now she's got her in a bad way into the corner. Miss Glory Hole starting to approach middle age here. The, the, the fresh youngster, you would say, if you can call it that. It's pretty Miss Scarlet now setting her up, though. Uh, gonna hang her out in oh, tree the tree of woe. Oh, oh, right oh kind of. Oh, I don't know. Say where that was. I don't know what happened there. She's gonna just slipped out, and now the, the Admiral do So why is she even giving him the time of day? Yeah, why she would fall for that? I don't know. She's a seasoned veteran. <clears throat> you know, you can say what you will. I mean, she is a uh, experienced. We'll say, and that's what I like to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, her ring savvy, her experience, her. I mean, how many headline, how many pay-per-views has she defended a title at? That's what but, I like to see is her, her head between the other one's legs. <laughs> the, the experience level is just there. and <clears throat> Prima Scarlet's an up-and-comer, but I don't know if she has the wherewithal and the, the experience to really uh, appreciate this moment. A nice judo throw by Morning Glory Hole. And now, got her around. Oh, oh right there, there he's got to reach around. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, just, there's a, 
Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna. I don't want Chaz to get pissed at me, so I'm not saying a word about that. You'd fuck a guy in the ass without him in the goddamn courtesy to give him a reach around, and now finally taken out of. Are you talking about me? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about. The, I was gonna say, CR doesn't swing that way. There's a nice scissor throw. I think that was uh, Arlie Ermy talking about Joker. Or I mean, something. maybe the Gimp or something, you know. But <laughs> yeah. Oh, that bro with a chair. Oh, that dirty bastard. I haven't seen a whole lot of chair action here. Oh, oh just right over top. Don't you touch her, uh -oh. you you sick son of a bitch. He's better. He better refrain from this. That's how he got pounded. <laughs> by Chaz in the first place. You albino reprobate. Oh, well, got, got her up again. Coming, coming with the forearm. Oh, a little sneak oh, move. Nice there. little back kick right to the uh, lower abdominal area. Blocking a move there. Oh, good. She's, she's good at blocking shit, I'll tell you that. I'll come over. Oh, oh, my God, you heard that. Right off the apron. Coming around. Picking her up again. She's gonna. Uh, this might roll into the crowd here if they're, they're not uh, cognizant of their uh, location. Cognizant, that's a big word for you. That is, there's a lot of syllables in that. I have a problem with it. And oh, now, she's oh. going up top, could this be a flying fuck? Could be. Here comes, no. Nope. Oh, just coming. That was a nice view, by kind the way. Uh, I gotta say old, that. It was, it was a uh, guillotine leg drop. She might follow it up with a flying fuck. Yeah, a little double action here on the high flyer. Here it here is. Comes. Here it comes. Whee! Oh. <laughs> she goes, oh my God, and a pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, it's my over. goodness. Once again, Morty Royal showing why she's the queen. Oh, she made quick work of her. The experience took over, and it was I'll tell you what, I I can't I can't sing her praises enough. Now <laughs> another stupid move. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. A little close up there, but we say we got the gist of it. One, two, and three. That was it. Only a couple of replays that kept it short and sweet. Thanks, guys. Still Did, you're still losing your job. She didn't even need Saul. <laughs> that's right. Saul was that's <laughs> just saw, yeah. saw his little head, the top was, of his head. He was, look at him. Oh, I got to make sure his shoulder's okay for my match. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why don't we get loosened up there, Saul? You're going to have a hell of a time with Joe. Actually, I'd be worried about getting a proper cup. Well, there she is. I, I'd like to say I have all the confidence in the world in him, but that would be a lie. Yeah. <laughs> going up against Jazz when he lays down in front of you, that's one thing. Uh, going up against a guy who's actually trying to get it built from you, that's a whole nother. So there she is. Okay, enough showing off. Can we get a freeze frame? Thank you. Uh, when we come hey, back, let her show off all she wants. Ah, well, this is halftime. We're going to go away uh, for a snack break. And when we come back, we're going to have the Inner Horseman title match, the big one between number three, Bufu the Clown, and Steel Sultan. This is the Animal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA Primal action. Bufu! Bufu! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Horseman Mania here post halftime and uh, get yourself filled up and everything, get yourself uh, some refills, and now we're back to the action. This is going to be the Inner Horseman title match. Uh, for those of you who are not in the know, this is, a, in fact, the third match between these two guys. And uh, it's coming down right now, well, <laughs> yeah, I don't say it nearly as good as he does, so I'll let him take it. Bufu! 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 And I, I, I think we're going to throw it down there to uh, Gene with an interview with the big goofy manager. Take it, Gene. Thank you, thank you, CR. Here I am. Oh, God, I'm with this guy again. Keith, oh, how many times I got to talk to you, Gene? Bufu the Clown on Steel Sultan. Inner Horseman title on the line. How do you think this goofy-ass clown is going to fare against the Olympic champion and the champion of the horseman? Do you know who I'm talking about? He'll make him humble. I know who you're talking about, Gene. They say the third time's the charm. This is the third battle between Bufu and the Steel Sultan. But I'll tell you, Sultan, someone uh, must have left you out in the rain because that steel is rusty. You aren't stainless, you're just brainless. And when Bufu comes around with that pie in the face and knocks that empty head into unconsciousness, it'll be one, two, three. Mania is here, and your time is up. Well, there you have it. He says, Bufu, he says that the Sultan's all rusty and he's brainless. We'll have to see what happens. Let's take it back to the booth. Thanks, Gene. And uh, you guys, you got Gene all hating on keys. What, what is it with you guys? You know, just always bad-mouthing this, this honorable manager. Well, we know a rat when we see one. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, here comes. The, there he uh, is. There he is. is. Yes, he'll remind you Hulk Hogan is a jabroni. <laughs> At least I think that's what that says. It's supposed to. Company by the uh, other manager there is uh, just like, man, What do you mean the other manager? The, the, the finest manager this sport's ever seen? Oh, uh, that guy. <laughs> anyway, uh, we saw him, of course, winning that endorsement title. He performs the camel clutch uh, on the... The Tehran torture. Whatever. It was a camel clutch against this guy, the emerald uh, 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 executioner. Uh, Jesus Christ. Give us a fucking break. Uh, uh, forcing, quote, forcing him to submit. Uh, just, just look at it. 
But yeah, you know, I, I know, I know who I was jumped by. Oh, it, 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 come up! It's coming, baby. It's coming right now. Oh, not a stay. Not, not this. Gone for that uh, that uh, camel clutch. No, I'm calling it the camel clutch. I don't give a shit. And yes, he gives up. Of course, he gives up. Emerald executioner gives up. That's him, ladies and gentlemen, the Steel Sultan. And uh, <laughs> I like to kind of like what Keys had to say about him getting rusty. <laughs> yeah, well, ha ha. We, we, we give this man respect if he beats Bufu fair and square. Oh, uh, I'll give him. Considering how he gets into these matches, I, I don't know if he's I can in do this that match point. right now. The match of his life, defending the pay per view. And he's there because he had somebody jump. Uh, that Sabu jumping on. He him. did not. Oh, God, God, God. Let's, we know what it was. There you go. Oh, there you go. Punch right after Patty just punches him in the nuts. Go, Boofu, go. God damn, I love how you know <laughs> I, I have a soft spot for Boofu, but in this match, you know who I'm going where I'm going. Still Sultan's got a soft spot for him too. He just runs straight between his legs. Yeah, well. You and just that, you disparage the Sultan, you disparage Chaz. He's yep. a great administrator, businessman, manager, for God's sake. Kind of get blinded there, cheap shot by the Steel Sultan on Oh, Bufu. cheap shot my ass. And now What's this going to be? Oh, nice oh, little... DDT! 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 Nice little flying there. Pick him back up. Bufu, got to shake up the cobwebs. Now, side rushing the oh, leg sweep. Uh, you know, the, the Steel Sultan is the original Hawk Tua. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Stop making stupid people famous with the stupid shit. number one, Hawk Tua. <laughs> on this turkey. <laughs> oh, I'm going to lick DDT there. Stupid turkey. Now, Keith. Oh, look at the big gorilla. So you, Get off you the don't apron. belong in there. You don't belong against Bufu, you cheating Get bastard. Get off the apron. Come on. You got, what are you going to drop a bomb on me, Saddam? Come on. Oh, where's some? Oh, don't you go there. Do you try to put some deodorant on you, bastard? <laughs> now, lock it up again. Oh, another kick to the oh, groin. Look at that. Ah, chops him down like a damn tree. A redwood oh. falling down. This, Actually, this reminds me of Larry Holmes against Jerry Cooney with all the low blows. Yeah, more than more like a sapling there. Oh, he's going to walk on. <laughs> Wipe your feet, Bufu. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's Keys out that side here too. Kick to the shoulder. Oh, right? he's just gonna piss the Sultan off. And now, oh, going for that shoulder, that uh, shoulder bone or shoulder. Uh, sorry, clavicle clutch, as I like to call it. And driving him in there too. Boink, down he goes. Clavicle clutch. And now uh, they got the curly toe boots. There's one. It's the Samoa Samoa nerve hold. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I like the, I like the uh, alliteration of that though. And now, once again, grabbing it. Samoan the, nerve, the, the, the Vulcan neck pinch. The only person to make someone submit with this was Katungi with those big old ham hocks he's got for hands. It's not even hands, they're like feet with thumbs. <laughs> the things were fucking enormous. And now, oh, gouging the eyes once again. Oh, nice close. He can't win cleanly, so he's got to gouge now the eyes. Now he's jawing with keys again. Yeah, keys is saying, Come quick going for the eyes there, you cheating bastard. Don't be distracted. Oh, he got distracted. <laughs> And up, oh, God, just xylophoned oh, him down the top. Yeah, turn him pads. In the, in the corner, and now it kicks him up. Oh. You know, just because Katungi isn't wrestling and the rest of the CSE wrestlers aren't here, they're going to be at the after party. Chad's flew them all over, or he flew them here to Toronto. Here it comes, Tehran torture. Uh, it's a camel clutch, you know that. Slap it on that big clown. Now, uh, it's the clown, not, no, not even close to it. Oh, he gets the, he gets the hand down. He's kind of locked in there a little bit. Now, okay. Oh, he's going to pick him up. Oh, he goes. Oh, oh God. dropped him right down. Now oh, that rope caught that, the bottom rope caught his head. Now kick to the face. Keys tackling the, he's, uh, Keys says, you know, keep an eye on things here. Sultan's cheating. You got to call that shit. Yeah, cheating. Man. You know, with the Sultan, he's got that bald dome that leaves him susceptible to being busted open. We'll see if he bleeds in this match. Mm. Now, another eye gouging here. I gouge him. He's just scratching his eyebrows. <laughs> he's scratching the other guy's eyebrows? How's he know they itch? Uh, maybe he thought he saw a tick. Oh, God. Well, all right. That's that, that's actually believable <laughs> with, with Bufu. Now, up, up once again. And kind of grab him by the by the two uh, semi-mohawks. Oh, right off the apron. Ow. Off the off the schnoz. It was snaps right back up, though. He's not uh, having any double chops coming down. Oh, now kicking away. A little, little bit of back and forth. Now the uh, return the favor. Oh, oh he's he bloodied him. That's a, that's a bloody Sultan right there. Oh, he's making me Kreskin. I predicted it. So he's tasting iron in two ways. <laughs> and now, oh, reversal. Oh, oh wow. DDT, DDT, we DDT. Might, we might end up with two bloody combatants here. This, uh, this is going to be a rough match. Oh, ducks the, ducks the first one, comes in. We're shot to the gut. We picked up here. Oh, where's he going? Going to drop him. Oh, the stairs. He's going for the stairs. Up high. Oh, oh my that, goodness. I left the blood splat right on that stair. Somebody get some Formula 409 or something. <laughs> Clean that shit up. Oh, another double chop. And a punch to follow. Oh, the Sultan in a bad way here outside the ring. Now oh, he's tossed going up, up the ramp. And oh. Falls over his own curly-toed boots. And is Bufa going to go after him? Says, oh, you come back down here. 
I tossed you up there. You come oh. back down here and take your beat. Bufu's giving him the business, yeah. and of course the count's now at 40. <laughs> now, well, stopping away. He's going to make him taste uh, metal. See, should have been a double count out to Salton Retains. Yep. Bufu just sends him back. Oh, he tripped over that ramp. <laughs> tripped over his shoes, probably. <laughs> his boots. Big floppy shoes. <laughs> and now, oh, tangling. Oh, shot to the, shot to the kid to the ribs there, oh, and a shot to the head. Yeah, the elbow to the back of the head. Kind of like a rabbit punch Oof. almost. Bufu going back clown. in like he thought it was a count out. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, oh, nice whirly bird. back suplex dropped him right on his the back of his neck, and he, now he's John with che keys again. Stop it! He says, quit picking my guy's nets, all right? He likes them. <laughs> he likes his eyebrows getting all bug infested. And kind of waiting there. Come on, so Oh, oh just oh, scoops him God. right up. Oh, slamming on down. That was a uh, Boo -boo. Oh. something press. I'm not going to say. Here comes is this a squirting rose or the pie in the face. It's a squirting rose. He's winding up. He's juicing it up. Oh, he's gone. That's it. Pin him. Don't oh, okay, got to drag him out of the from Don't the count the Here salt, comes. not yet. Get that pin. Oh, no, it's this cheating bastard. That cheating jazz singer, god damn it. Get off the apron. You don't belong up there. Hey, he was pointing out about Key's interference. He was pointing his pecker up his, up his own ass. Uh, and now, well, as it's that big, God bless him. <laughs> it's very flexible. And now, oh, nice backdrop there. Sending the, sending the salt in the hurting. And now, oh, just a bomb there. The spine buster. Spine buster, spine buster. Yeah, modified spine buster. Oh, there's the pie in the face. Oh, he steps oh, back up there. Stops. He just gets back up and keeps on ticking. A little look bit out, of a, a look out. bit of an adrenaline rush here. What the is bag he? that bomb. He's got to be on steroids or something. There's the bag oh, that Oh, now bomb. why you say something like that? Because oh, he probably is. That's probably the only thing that's going to help him win this match. They arrested the supplements doctor. And now, I don't know, there's one. There's two. No, oh. he's not going to have it. Yeah, the boofer, he needs a little more seasoning and tenderizing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Nothing like a tender clown. <laughs> uh oh, he's uh -oh. in a stance. Come on, Bufu. Snap two. It's coming up again. You got to be ready for it. Another oh. back dad bomb. Another cheap shot to the nuts there. Oh, yeah, right. Like Bufu didn't do that to bring in the match. Shut up. <laughs> Wait. That's a goddamn chic at it coming. I mean, Sultan. <laughs> Where's she now? Yeah, know? let's There's not one. get sued. There's two. Oh, oh no. the Sultan no. retains. I don't believe that. Oh, the Olympic champion. He's such a man. Busted open, still manages to win the match. Bufu must have had a stinger on his neck from that last yeah, throw. Yeah, Bufu had a hemorrhoid that popped. Nothing <laughs> like a blowout at <laughs> 50 miles an hour. Look at this. He got, he got him up, though. Right there. <laughs> Look at that catching on the rope. Yeah, he caught that neck there. And he and gave then him this the big one. Squirting rope. Spun him around. <laughs> and that would have been the pin. That would have been it. Where? Right here. This pin. He what goes are you talking down. about? And that Chaz jumped. Look at it. He's already counting. He's already counting him out. Then Chaz gets up. Just, Bufu, you should hey, lay out Chaz. Chaz was just complaining about the four times Keys was John. <laughs> so? What are you talking about? He wasn't up on the apron. So it was four to one on interference. <laughs> just Keys talking. He's just enjoying some nice conversation with the referee. Yeah, Chaz is up there. My up there, ass. not where his Here feet belong. Baghdad bomb coming in. I'm coming in. Yeah, I got that bomb. This, this is hitting nothing. There See, it is. He's there's, on steroids. There's that's, the pin. That, that's roid rage right there. Hitting nothing. Yeah, he got the pin. Yeah. Oh, what a All tremendous, right. look at that, tremendous champion. Tremendous champion, looks like a Tampax right now. <laughs> He's not Maxi Pad, what yeah. are you talking about? Well, Maxi Pad's not around here. Meanwhile, <laughs> this is the greatest pay-per-view ever. No Maxi Pad, no Bandit, no sick rubber duck. <laughs> I figured you'd notice that sooner or oh, later. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, there it's you go. It's a banner you, day. You won your belt there, and we're going to move on to oh. something else here. We got Congratulations, the Salton. See you at the after party. Make... Make my partner humble. Yeah, we're going to see some action. They're gonna, first time we're going to see uh, Joe Petito here with the Women's World Championship. Uh, it's going to be BT Goth taking on Roblox Rachel. Tough, ro tough road for Roblox on this one. Uh, this is the Animal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. We come back for more HWA Primal action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Horseman Mania, which is uh, it's kind of, well, that's balance with some of the belts going around here. There's a lot of sharing going on, but uh, we'll have to see what comes up because i uh, got another championship match. But right now, we're going to have the Women's World Championship match. That's going to be BT Goth taking on Roadblock Rachel. Coming down right now is BT Goth, and uh, you caught a word. Uh, Obscene Gene caught, tried to catch a word with him uh, just before this match. So take it away, Obscene Gene. Thank you, thank you. I'm here trying to get an interview with Joe Petito, but the man's in the men's room, for Christ's sake. I don't know what he's doing in there. Somebody, can you get him out of here? we got a limited time. We, this is my interview time. What are you doing in there? Thank you, Obscene Gene. <laughs> good, good effort there. I guess the guy has got the, the shits or the pisses or something. I don't know what he's got there. Some, some sort of uh, 
good digestive weakness. But now uh, coming down here, <laughs> there's a woman who smells like she has oh, digestive weakness. I can smell weakness. the bourbon and meal from here. <laughs> yes, uh, it's, it's a smell all its own. That is Roadblock Rachel. Uh, we saw her uh, with the. Uh, actually, we're gonna uh, we'll uh, we get someone to talk to here. Uh, let, let, let's head to backstage uh, once again with the. You know, the, the, the Aaron, smell like Aaron Aaron Bart- Bart- took a shower. Maybe uh, Christ, it wouldn't be such uh, a big deal. G- uh, uh, Gene, Gene. Hello? What? <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, we're back to you with uh, Aaron Varhola oh, about this Jesus match. Jesus Christ, I can't, I can't believe I got, oh, oh, man, I tell you, it's just, that open bar's killer. I got to interview this, this, oh, the megalomaniac again, he's got this, uh, the girl that stinks, Roadblock Rachel, she's, oh, she's wrestling this little girl for the time, what do you think? Well, Roadblock Rachel's going to be bathing in champagne after the match. Uh, BT Goth is a very tough competitor. Saw her defeat Gabby Lopez, who's an up-and-coming star. But Roadblock Rachel is a wily veteran and knows how to keep that title. Well, I guess any bath is a good bath, even if it's champagne. Just give her a little soap, will you? That girl stinks, for Christ's sake. Tell her to use some goddamn FDS on her nether regions. Back to you, Keys. Thanks, Obscene Gene. <laughs> Once again, just uh, having having fun with the good old Aaron Farola there. Uh, Sorry, I didn't know your mic was on, but uh, we'll look past that. Right now, we're going to look at this, the, the beautiful women's world championship belt. And there's your competitor right there. I'll tell you what, there she is, the female version of El Loco. You'd never count her out, but Roadblock Rachel, she's double tough. D- d- double dead stare. He just had, like, the doe eyes. Oh, big chop right across the... Grabbing away, and oh, going to pick up ET. That's a, that's an easy pickup right there. Oh, stretching her or ah. back breaker and then stretching it out, for God's sake. Throwing her around like she's nothing here. This, this is uncustomary for BT. Rolls out, though. Well, she is only about 125 pounds. She uses that well, though. <laughs> You've seen her with that. Uh, she picked up. She's picked up uh, Geisha Genji. Uh, she's picked up. Uh, uh, oh, there he Rosado is. Mayhem. Ah, oh, Joe Petito up once again. Uh, go back to reading your dirty magazines and get off the apron. <laughs> get off the toilet. Oh. It's more like it. <laughs> Fortunately, he's a. Uh, He's, he's back in action here. And now, ah! DDT! 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 Look at the bounce. The bounce she took. Got to, got to step out and shake it off. Rolled out of the ring. Now she's back looking for, uh, oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, uh, another return the favor with a backbreaker. No more kicks to the back now. Uh, and picking her up once well, again. I guess she figures she works on the back. She won't be able to put on that camshaft clutch. Kind of clipping the <laughs> good old uh, the kangaroo Jones there. And now, what's this? Oh, my God. That's super. It's actually a good strategy for somebody managed by Hollywood Joe. <laughs> and dragging her out. She's gonna get a pin effort here. Flip her over. No pin shot. Going for a pin. No, not even gonna get a one count out of that. Not ready. I asked Joe what he says. I I got some good strategery for this match. <laughs> strategery. <laughs> so I got some good rotisserie. Yeah, it's uh, right over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, next to the shrimp. Good chicken. Both yeah. both girls working over the back. Maybe she figures if BT Goss back is injured, she won't be able to hoist her over for that grave digger. Oof, not getting hold of the legs there, just shoving her away. And oh, I got oh, a boot to her face. Boot. We all know you're hoping to see a shot of purple panties in this match, you reprobate. Yeah, I'm sort of hoping for that. <laughs> At least I admit it. And now we're stomping away. And bang in the head. Bang, bang, bang. She, she bangs. <laughs> yeah, she bangs. All right. <laughs> and now she, she's mounting her. Oh my what goodness is this? gracious! What is this? Uh, can we show oh, this? Good lord! Get a oh, bad headbutts! Oh my god! Four headbutts right there. I oh. thought they, I thought they were, YouTube was going to take us off the air for that one. That was, uh, <laughs> that, that was quite uh, erotic. Yes, it was. And now it's uh, snapping that leg, that hamstring stretcher. Back up once again. BT, I think, is dialed in a little oh. bit here right now. Oh, big fist in the face. Yeah, picked her up by the hair, gave her a little uh, discus type of a punch, and now she's trying to work on a half Ooh. Boston Crab. All right. She's, uh, she's kind of close to the rub. Oh, nope, got to wave it off. I guess she was yeah, flipping you know over. A half Boston Crab's like half a rack of ribs. Just as insane. Yeah. <laughs> I like a nice full rack, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's why. Hey, oh, what is you that? Watch your ass what out is there. that Joe grabbing at her? <laughs> Joe oh. just... Oh, there's ah, a panties! Panties! <laughs> Thank you. I'll freeze frame that. They're still sticking there. They're still up. Oh, <laughs> her sure skirt is caught in the top of her underwear. <laughs> oh, for God. Yeah. I can't believe that 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 that, God, that animal, Joe Petito, going after a female wrestler. Well, it's female, technically, yes. <laughs> She's about as tough as any man I've ever seen, though. There's one. 
She has that. breasts and a vagina. She's a she-male or a he-male or she's a female. Well, she may have breasts, but you can get that surgery overnight. Well, <laughs> yeah, I've never seen her naked in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a panty shot from her. Oh, well, Aaron's down there. I see a chair. <laughs> oh, look at we that. We caught you, Aaron. We that caught you. Hi, oh, oh, DDT, DDT, DDT. How are you going to see panties when she's wearing jeans, for Christ's sake? Uh, panty line, maybe. <laughs> she might be wearing a thong. She might be wearing boxers. I honestly don't know. Might be going commando. Look at this. Joe up there again. Punch him in the mouth. Oh. And now Ted got the the other distraction over here. The megalomaniac talking uh, to the ref. These, these these two just need to send them both back to the locker room. Oh, coming around. Take, taking her time there, but uh, let's roll out of it now. There's kick. a big boot. Uh-oh, look out. Big boot to the panties. This could be a power <laughs> bomb. Up high. Oh, envy that position with a big slam. It wasn't the biker bomb, but it was a power bomb. Oh, uh, go cam fast. Cam Luna, you know what I'm talking about. Cam shaft clutch. <laughs> she got it. And he got it, too. Oh. She, she thinks she's the Sultan. And no, not letting her have oh, any of it. she slipped right out. With all those, those skinny arms of hers, just easy to get out of that position. And get to the missionary position. Oh, no, 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 I didn't say that. Oh, oh into the chair. I kind of caught it with her shoulder blade, but not the head, so. Uh. <laughs> well, the head wouldn't have done any damage, I don't think. Uh, no. <laughs> and, oh, going to be, uh, oh, here comes the prophecy. The pro-cheesy. Yeah, the pro-cheesy. <laughs> and speaking of cheesy, we've got the nice cheese dip here with Fritos. Oh, there it is. She locked it in. There is it, it going to do it? I, I, I can't see her giving you up. You never know. No, she's done. I've got to put her out of it. Says. You know, after that after that move on the chair, Aaron asked her how her head was. She says, I've never had any complaints. <laughs> Aaron once again trying to take the turnbuckle pad off, and now he's talking about Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're gonna have to keep these managers backstage if this keeps up. Now another throw there. Uh, it's like the goddamn tag team matches out. used to this be. This could be the grave digger. This could be it. She got it. They gotta get her up in a position. Here yeah. it comes. Got it. Grabs the legs and here it comes. Chairs. No. Oh, right on the crown of her head, and Aaron's in, he's concerned. Good this could that, be it. That chair was out of the way. There's a pin. There's one. There's two. Oh, oh, kicked out at the last minute. My God, I thought she had her. Who kicks out of the fucking grave digger? I can't. <laughs> she howls again. Howls at the moon. And now, I don't know. I think because I, I think it's a pay-per-view, old kangaroo's letting the managers get away with a little more than he would in a regular <laughs> show. But, you know, you got to draw a line somewhere with this interference and all this other crap. And clotheslines are plenty coming. Oh, leg like clothesline to finish it. Down again. She's looking, and she's she going to drag her. Bit. She drags her across the chair. It's like a sled at this point. <laughs> and now, oh, oh, going for it again. The pro cheesy. There it is. It's locked in. It takes it takes a little while to lock to in, but it's very trying effective. To, trying to turn her over. Now she's stretching her. Got, got the arms, and there it is. Now still can't get it. You cannot get the position. That's a, it's a it's a tricky move because everything's got to go right for you. And once it's once it's oh, right. Oh, there it's right. he is. What's he doing? Aaron up once again. He, 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 get him off that apron, kangaroo. Threaten to throw him out. He might just get thrown out right now. Another oh, oh, oh. great digger. Here he comes. Oh, nailed her with that one. I think this is it. This might be it. We may have a new champion. And one, two, three. Oh, it's there it. There it is. BT Goth with the victory oh, the over there. The second grave digger was the nail in the coffin. So Joe Petito, where's <laughs> wherever you are in the bathroom now? Is he is he heading to the? I think he's heading to the bathroom again. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Gene, see if you can catch him before that. Right now we're gonna look at the replays. Oh, the megalomaniac and can't be happy. I think you saw the kick away there. I didn't see the actual action, but oh, here it is. That's a great view right there. Oh my God! Right on, the head. Right on that W. <laughs> and there's a pin. There's one. There's two. Did she soil herself? I don't know, but <laughs> I'll very, tell you. That, very dark in between the legs. Yeah, that there. grave digger made me soil myself. I'll tell you that much. Uh, and okay, we won't see the end of whatever that was. But yes, BT Goth with a victory here. There she is, a new, new women's world champion. So, we'll see how, how long she can keep it. Well, we got El Loco and the female El Loco both wearing straps. <laughs> that's right. Those, uh, that's, that's the way Horseman Mania usually ends up. I'll tell you what, if those two get together and have a kid, I want to manage it. <laughs> I don't care if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> I'll have a kid with her. No, I can't, actually. <laughs> but anyway. For God's sake. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to have the uh, manager championship. Joe Petito is going to be back here again uh, facing against Saul Goldberg. <laughs> Stick around, folks. This is going to be a good one. Uh, this is the Anal Network. We're going to get all those rare them and come back for more HWA Primal action. No, sorry, so I, did pr I was bound to it's do it It's Horseman Mania, you son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, I know. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to HWA Horseman Mania. 
That was not me stammering for the correct answer. That was me. Uh, dramatic pause. It only took eight matches for you to get it right. <laughs> now I got it right initially. Then I, then I just fizzled out. Coming down right now, though, is uh, Joe Petito. And uh, I think uh, we got the, the Saul backstage. Not Saul, but uh, is this, you know, I've seen Gene backstage. And maybe got the, well, uh, I've seen Gene. Did, did you catch anything? All right, here I am again trying to track down Joe Petito, the man. He's got a weak bladder or something. He's running to the toilet again. Maybe he got some bad shrimp or something. Joe, Joe, do you have anything? Quit beating it. What are you doing? We got interview time. I don't know what to do here. Somebody give me some direction. I don't know what to do. Well, thanks for trying, uh, Gene. Uh, it's just it's tough to get a hold of some people sometimes, especially when they got the shits. Must, but, have, uh, must have had some bad uh, tacos or something. Yeah, it was Taco Tuesday. <laughs> it was like... It was like, uh, not even Taco Tuesday. It would have been like six days ago. <laughs> He's still shitting. But now, coming down is the current, I can't believe I'm even saying this, the current manager's champion, Saul Goldberg. And uh, I believe that uh, CR, uh, you, you might have had somebody uh, backstage speaking to him. Uh, let's see. Let's hear what he had to say. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm so excited to be be defending this manager's title here at the at the pay-per-view, but that Joe Petito's out there, and I, uh, why are they letting that snowman out there for Christ's sake? He's a maniac. He, he can try to, he, if he tries to shove a snow cone up my ass, I don't know what to do. And then this Joe Petito, he's always grabbing people's balls. And you know, Masato said protect the goods. We're we're trying to have a baby, and if he grabs, I, oh my goodness gracious, I, if he grabs my balls, I don't know what I'm gonna do. For God's sake, I'm just oh, thank God, Mr. Segnus here. Hopefully, he'll keep me safe. And, uh, oh my God! I can't believe this. And that's Saul Goldberg, of course. What we heard from the backstage, I think he's schwitzing. <laughs> yeah, I think old Saul is a little bit worried here. He might be, might be, might be having an accident in his pants. Yeah, you got to watch out for the snowman because he's, he's looking to shove uh, a snow cone up some various uh, uh, body orifices. I can't believe we're letting the snow or the snowman out here during this match. Well, you know, since uh, they they both have Why managers out there. Saul, he's wearing a. Sh he must be getting too ripped. He's wearing a shirt to come. Oh my God! He's <laughs> The clothesline right out the gate. <laughs> boot, to, boot to the face. That's stomping away. Oh, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> I, think, I think Joe's got about 100 pounds on Saul. Probably. <laughs> this isn't fair. Chaz, what, what are you thinking? Right now, just talking to manager to manager now. It's, it's, this, this is fair. All right, so uh, technically. And now, from, right from behind. <laughs> Oh, do something what? and just shakes him off like a bad case of fleas. Oh, now he's getting oh, grinded him from the cost of ropes. <laughs> Poor Saul. Can we, somebody throw in the flag. Is, is, is Chad's ready there? So, got a towel or something they can toss in there? Oh, just shit. Oh, 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 keep, keep that snowman away from Saul. Snowman's staying put there. I think I think this was a psychological ploy. He knows how skittish Saul gets when the snowman's around. Now, oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Big lifting kick there. And more oh. stomping away on this. The, 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 his arms. Oh my goodness. Like there's a beef jerky in there. That's about it. <laughs> now, big move. Oh, that brat breaker. Uh, you, know, you know what Saul's nickname is? The rubber band man. <laughs> it's going to have to be made of rubber because uh, after that backdrop. Oh, got a little sticky that, oh, yeah. line. I think, uh, I mean, quite, uh, to be quite honest with you, I, I hate to disparage Saul because I'm a friend, but I would think Masada would have a better chance against Joe than Saul. <laughs> Masato has a better chance against Saul. <laughs> we know that. And now, <laughs> kick to the face. Oh. Stomp, start, trying to get something going here. We're stomping away on Joe. And, oh, he's trying oh, to I can't believe he's going to. Oh, I, he's, I thought, I he, was thought gonna... he was going to try for a Tehran torture. Maybe the, sh the Sultan's been t training him. <laughs> Tehran torture. You said it yourself. It's a goddamn camel clutch. We well, you know, it's a variation. <laughs> a variation. Oh, oh, oh God. He slammed the chair and just hit Joe in the head. That's that's cheating right there. That's that's sneaky. He doesn't need to cheat. Well, yeah, he does. Let's oh, face it. Yeah. Saul. I, I was thinking the other way around. Okay, yeah, he, he absolutely has to cheat. Oh. He no, may not be able to. He may not. Oh, I didn't think he had enough strength to kick out. <laughs> it's just it doesn't have enough body weight to kick out, but it's all will at this point. Now grabbing back of the head once again, going to the, oh, bouncing. Oh God, clothesline. Oh. Saul should have wore a mask and called himself the Emerald Executioner. <laughs> Saul, or the the Sapphires. Samurai or something, whatever. <laughs> With a skinny ass Jew. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's, it's a proper term. Just... Well, yeah, he is. He's skinny and he's Jewish. I guess that's okay. <laughs> oh, arm breaker right oh, there. Poor Saul. <laughs> he's like, he's taking his, he's taking his, uh, oh, his, his oh, pulse there's my there. Chin buster. That was a sneaky move. Took his pulse and tried to make him a little concerned for him. Oh, oh, well, oh he rocked him with that, that chop. That rubbery fist. This is, oh, another shot to the head. 
Yeah, you, you think those fists wouldn't hurt, but they're little tiny things. They're like a... Oh, I thought kangaroos going to get wiped. Oh, now a big shoulder block. It's like getting hit with a hit with tack, you know? Now, oh, oh no. Who's this? <laughs> I think he was trying, trying to take advantage of the right that, there. In that, <laughs> I was going to say, in that position, he probably felt like Masato was on it. <laughs> yes. And a Masato flashback, and now going to... <laughs> Oh, if, if, if he bounces off a kangaroo, that's going to be it. He's like, what was that, a mosquito? Oh, that, that, that might have been the move that broke Saul's back. Snowman out there looking very proud, just waiting for any opportunity to start with the, uh, the oh. frosty treats. Come on, Joe, don't tease him. Just put him out of his misery, for Christ's sake. And round and round he goes. He's playing spin the Saul. <laughs> oh, oh, God, he just punched him in the balls. Oh, Masato just cringed. And Chaz got to say something like, about why that. Why you gonna punch the poor guy in the balls? What kind of what is that? You're you're just a felon. <laughs> now, oh, pop to the face. Taking him over the shoulders now. Oh boy, gonna be. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I think I just read the snowman's snowman's uh, lips. He said grape or cherry. Mm. Poor Saul is just beside himself. He rolled him over too. <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna try to mount him. Oh, suplex there. I thought oh, it, oh, he's oh, in a stance. No. Oh, don't grab the ball. Is he going to grab the ball? Oh, no, no, Do on. not do it. This, don't. Oh, oh, <laughs> for God's sake. He's spinning that dreidel. Oh, Saul. <laughs> ah, put that in your, put that in your, uh, one of the, uh, the candle thing and smoke it. Look at that, the Saul. Saul's got a set of brass balls. It didn't even affect him. <laughs> brass balls. Maybe he just got tiny balls. He just didn't catch them. Yeah, he probably couldn't find them. <laughs> they retreated up into his body. <laughs> now a clothesline. That was a hell of a shot. <laughs> now some more stomping away. Got to try to take the legs out, keep them off. And now he's just walking right over him. That's I, just. Are, are, are they cheering for Saul or booing him? I can't tell. I, I've been cheering for Saul. <laughs> God knows he doesn't have much of a chance, but they give him a little encouragement yeah, anyway. Everybody loves the underdog. Yeah. And now. Oh, oh nice what a hip throw. toss. A nice hip toss. Chaz is. What are you doing, Chaz? Chaz is up there trying to take the turnbuckle pad off. Big surprise. Uh -oh. And now, I mean, unless Saul was going to pull, he's on a treadmill. Saul's <laughs> getting some extra, extra. extra I was going to say, there. unless Saul was going to pull a foreign object out of the tights, what are you distracting the ref for? Oh, oh, over, oh, oh, there, there he goes, goes again. again. Oh, my God. Oh, keep that snowman away from him. <laughs> snowman's staying put. <laughs> he doesn't need to yet. After the match, when Saul's like laying prone on the on the mat, <laughs> ass up, <laughs> uh, the elbow. <laughs> I don't want to think about that snow cone intrusion. Intrusion. Uh, don't say face down, ass up to Saul. He'll think of Masato. <laughs> yes. Get that ginger root. Oh, nice oh, little, nice little switch reversal. up there. Gave him a little, <laughs> oh, Ooh. nice little takedown. Now look at him. A good little go around. There you go. It's <laughs> going to wipe his sweat on. To or is that, that's a float over. Gave him a little, uh, a little what, four. Now, I'll tell you what, Saul's kind of, he's hanging in there. And uh, Joe, Joe might be toying with him. I'm not sure, but yeah. looks like he's getting some good landings well, there. Well, Saul's used to toys. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. right in the post. He yeah. posted them. That's a toy for you right there. That's a big, long toy. Oh, <laughs> Once again, I'll tell you what, I'd, love, I'd love to see Saul <laughs> open Joe up. He'll never live it down. Mm. And now, oh, grab, oh, punch of the gut. And now, oh, a little sneaky. Oh, that, and well, another, another roundabout exactly, there. Exactly, a takedown, a float over. Now he's scooping him back up. I don't know what's happening with Joe right now. He's starting to starting to lose his focus. I'm not talking about this new Ford. And now rolls him back in. <coughs> Look at Chaz. The Chaz is saying. He's cheering Saul on. He's, he's definitely trying to put it more uh, into. Now Saul's making a cardinal error. Don't more, let him up. More merit into Saul than he probably has. But now, back on WAP once again. Keep laying the boots to him. Oh, look at that nice little, little hip toss there. He does know how to use a person's weight against him. I'll tell you that. As uh, Joe Potato's right now. On now the treadmill <laughs> again. More exercise. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> now, oh, tries to kick, but he rolls away. Oh, and a missed strike. Oh, this could be it. This is bad news for Round Saul. Oh. <laughs> he just throws him over like he weighs oh. nothing. Well, he, <laughs> compared to Joe, he doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> That's true. It's like uh, yeah, we have those paper dolls that used to have. And now, oh, Joe. Oh, he's dirty. One. Do not count Good this. Two. Oh, he was able to rip out of it somehow. I think Joe. Oh, greasy bastard using the ropes. I can't believe it. <laughs> Against Saul. Why like, would you need to cheat to beat this guy? Now I think that shot him in the foot because it, he was losing his balance there. Couldn't stay on Saul. Oh, there yes, he goes once again. again. Look at those people uh, in the front row. Come Chaz on, cheer, is, cheer for he, Saul. Chaz is going to try to help him. Like, come on. <laughs> come on, Saul. <laughs> Joe's like, come on, I get here, God damn it. I got uh -oh. The uh -oh. oh, no, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Chaz and is saying, don't. Oh, oh, God, he nailed him. I just throw his head down on the, almost hits him in the head on the way down. Well, at least he didn't throw it into the third row. That's true. Oh, kick to the oh, a little kick to the balls there. A little return to turn action, and the, oh, just got that slap. 
There you slap missed. It's all now. Up, oh, up high. Saul, goodbye. We hardly knew you. Right yeah. on the steps. Oh. Not not blood not bloodened up yet. Oh. I couldn't tell. Did Saul take his glasses off for this match? <laughs> Doesn't he better have bulletproof glasses? No. He's, oh god. Oh, right into the barricade. He just gets flipped over. Uh oh, Stinky grabbing the leg there. Up high. Oh, give him a spine buster. That's a there. big atomic drive. Can somebody get our outside cameraman some emodium so he's there? <laughs> no, he's like, we're missing a whole lot of action up front here. Now, another that hip throw, that's, that's his go to move right now. If Saul can get the, the uh, dreidel down, well, I mean, his, his move set's about four, so. Oh, oh, guillotine leg drop. Nice little slingshot move there. Look at that. I think it kind of hurt him a little. I think he, he hurt his tuchus. <laughs> now. Down low. Was that Greek or Jewish? I, I think know. that was Greek, but if you, if you heard Well, his, you know what I mean. If you heard a schmeckle, then. <laughs> hey, watch the schmeckle jokes. <laughs> now, just kind of grinding away there. Instead of saying, smell my sweaty armpit. And Joe's, Joe's can't get him off. Oh, there he goes. I'll tell you what, we're at the almost 12 minute mark of this match. Joe. I didn't think he'd last this long. Breaking his back once again. Joe. Oh, jumping don't, over. don't do it. Not to this little man. A little high flying action here. Come Joe. on. We don't normally see Joe doing this. Show some decency. Mm. Well, look who I'm Slowly talking get to. Up. And. Oh, <laughs> missile drop kick hit the mark. <laughs> oh, no. He's oh, get... don't do it. Do not grab the goods again. You could have just pinned him Don't do that. it. You... Enough, enough of this. Oh. You <laughs> sick bastard. I can't believe it. <laughs> that be Hanukkah, bitch. <laughs> and now, oh. Joe. That was reaching through. Oh, pump handle. Oh, another back shot. Pump handle, backbreaker. Chaz knows that the end is near. He's doing his best. But uh, just trying to throw, pull out any stops there. Oh, I think all he's doing is, is prolonging the abuse for Saul. I know. It was a clothesline. Another clothesline oh, coming right up. out of his boots. The double. Nope. It bounces off. And God, oh, lying. Good God, Saul. You, uh, gave, you gave your, your best shot. Well, the intimidation factor was there by Snowman, because they didn't do much else other than that. Oh, this, oh, oh he missed with the big oh, knee. Oh. Saul is not with an opportunity here. A rare miss. And now, oh, that was a hit. <laughs> right to the ribs. And, uh-oh. Going for, oh, chicken wing bomb. Oh, dropping the, oh, my God. That might be over. I think that's got to be it. No, 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 no. no not again. Oh. oh, for God's sake, the genitalia is taking a beat. Well, we didn't see it because the guy was in there. There's one, there's two. There's three. It's oh, done. Oh, I'd say I can't believe this. They they've got to outlaw those moves. You, you just you just can't be punching people and grabbing their nuts. I mean, just it's just bad sportsmanship for God's sake. Uh -oh. Oh, look at Saul. He's like, chased him out of the ring. Saul's Saul still ornery. Oh, is Saul gonna do it? That's not oh, oh my God. God. He just laid out the ref. Oh my God. Oh. Saul is an ornery motherfucker. I'll tell you that. Holy shit. Oh. Well, Saul, good job. I guess uh, towards the end there, getting some honor back. The referee doesn't have any. <laughs> Not for a while now. Uh, when we come back, we're going to have the grudge match. It's going to be Sabu versus the 4R Club. Yeah, this match is a bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah, we'll hear about that uh, with, with uh, Chaz backstage. This is the Animal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. And come back for more HWA Horseman Mania action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to HWA Horseman Mania. Coming down right now for his uh, handicap tornado matches, uh, uh, Sabu. That's right. We, uh, <laughs> well, I know he's got an opinion about this, so he's going to go ahead and share it. Well, I'm going to tell you what I think this is a, a miscarriage of justice. I don't know what, who, 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 it, it's shit. It's a bunch of horse shit. Well, is, do we, now, do we have an interview or do we have, uh, oh, I guess uh, somebody spoke to, to Chaz uh, back there. Just, somebody, <laughs> you know who. Go ahead and, uh, Lead him in. Thank you, CR. I'm sitting here with Chaz Sagner, the main man from GCSE. Sabu having to go against two guys, the 4R Club, whatever the hell that is. Chaz, what do you think of this? Let me tell you something, Gene. This is a bunch of crap. This, 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 this grudge match, he was defending his honor. Nigel's Ark opened his mouth, called Sabu a washed-up has-been. Sabu showed him who the has-been was, and now he has to take on two men in a handicap match at the pay-per-view. Let me tell you something. Sabu is one of the toughest men in the HWA, and he's had a long and distinguished career, and he's going to come out of retirement for one special match, and he is going to defeat these two idiots, and he will be victorious in his final match here at Horseman Mania. There you have it. He says that Sabu's the man. Back to you. Thanks, Obscene Gene. <laughs> Starting to get a little wobbly there, my friend. You might want to want to sit down for the next couple of interviews. Get, get your uh, bars you, we'll, we'll, we'll go One more match after this. I hope uh, this match doesn't go too long and you don't get a chance to drink too much more. <laughs> you might have one more interview to do. But coming down right now, 
What is this? What is this music? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at these two idiots. Is, is toy, Redneck Rufus having a seizure? What is going on there? Uh, <laughs> what is this music? I hate this music. Uh, I'd love to go ahead and uh, get, get on this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show you a replay of what, what led up to this. Uh, this was during Jamie's entrance during the last match. Uh, Sabu maliciously attacks Nigel Zark. And, uh, well, crack, Nigel shouldn't open his fucking mouth. Cracks his skull and, uh, with the Empire Driver backstage. Let's go ahead and have a look at it. Now just oh, he busted up his knee. He's not gonna be able to wrestle. He's got to wrestle later tonight, doesn't he? Jamie Bond. Uh, the crowd is like, can they see the Titan Driver? There is no Titan Driver. Look at this. I'm not. Oh no! Not, not the Empire Driver. Not in the concrete. Oh my Christ! Did you hear that? He <laughs> just cracked his skull. That's them, ladies and gentlemen. The brand newly formed just for this purpose for our club. We're not gonna yeah, see them again. For our club. And okay, nice close up. Oh my god! He's <laughs> giving us a tea bag. Yeah, I, I didn't need to see his package. <laughs> Way up close. And so they start as uh, as you figure, Sabu's gonna have a hard time getting uh, over these well, two yeah, monsters. You know, they could have just made this a, a straight uh, handicap, but no, they had to make a tornado. <laughs> Who's responsible for this? Well, it's gotta. I think they're punishing him. Obviously, uh, well, he's not here. There's no reason for punishment. He was just finishing what Nigel Zark started in the parking lot. <laughs> well, he started talking. He's a, it's a freedom of speech thing, you know? You can say as much as you want to about a person. Listen, can't. if somebody called you a washed-up has-been, you take offense to it. Well, no, because I am a washed-up has-been, actually. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just because you, it doesn't mean you can break somebody's skull. Well, uh, I don't think the intent was to injure. It was just to, you know, kick his ass. No, well, it was intent to get the goddamn emerald. Dill hole or whatever his name is, uh, the, right. the, the dill pickle. That's what well, I hey, call him. Don't blame Chaz for they let that guy wrestle. It wasn't his doing. Oh yeah, nothing is his doing. <laughs> it's all it's all behind closed doors, so we can't tell you. But uh, hey, we know. And now it's a nice miss stomp there by Redna by uh, hey, Roy. Uh, it's, in this country, money talks, and you know what walks. So yes, yeah, so, <laughs> you know what walks is on both of their boots right now. Exactly. Well, <laughs> Roadhouse is a little more uh, has a little more hygiene. Uh, Habits than that other idiot. Hi, Gene. <laughs> We've been talking to Gene all night yeah. there. And, uh, oh, my God. I, he's, oh, he's really? Looking I, I really rough. If this match goes more than 15 minutes, Gene's going to be sloshed. <laughs> and uh, just keep him keep him in the. the, the keep, it's, if vodka's clear, put some water in there. Try to fake him out. Oh, I'm telling you. Can we get a hold of anyone, any of the, uh, the people <laughs> backstage and say, you know, get, uh, just tell Drink to, uh, Gene to slow it down? No. <laughs> just, just as Sabu is trying to get a foothold, he gets it from behind. Well, hey. <laughs> not a bad place to get it if you're a woman. <laughs> With Sato Mayhem, once again, <laughs> bringing her up. She's not here tonight, but we keep talking about her. Well, she, she's here, but she's not in the event. Yes, well, she's uh, she's around, but uh, she'll be at the party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I can tell you who won't be at the party. And Gene. <laughs> these, they, these two reprobates. No, these two. Okay. Any of the ass clown coven. <laughs> no, just uh, Sabu, just, just when you think he's getting a foothold on these two, there's a... No well, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to, you know, you got to fight two guys at once. It's pretty tough. Oh, nice drop kick there in, in the back of the leg. And got some showing off to do. You got Sabu, you got to snap back up. You know, I was in a handicap <laughs> match, but, uh, you know, I came out on the winning end. Well, that's because it was two women. <laughs> there was that Girl Scouts that you were battling against on that one. <laughs> no, it was me and Sabu against somebody else. Oh, that, yeah, that handicap match, of course. <laughs> I thought you were talking about that thing I saw on Pornhub. Hey! No, oh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, that, was a, that. that was a CR impersonator. No, oh, okay. <laughs> well, there are a few of them. No, just, just as he's trying to get grabbed. Oh, oh wow. It's Hurricane Runner or whatever the hell. That, you know, I, old CR doesn't let anybody film any of his private moments because, you know, that comes back to bite you in the ass. <laughs> yes, it does. And now, what the hell was that? He just kind of, kind of butt rammed him. There, double team. Oh, oh, double oh, side Russian late. The only person that, 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 that records anything is me. <laughs> right now you saw all the heads going down the air on the ropes. For future reference. <laughs> Speaking of heads. Nice snap suplex by the stinky one. Roll him over. Oh, redneck I, Rufus. Oh, look at that. Sabu's just not going to take a pin here. He's going to keep going as far as long as he can. I'm telling you, you know, he, 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 he's, he's, <laughs> what the hell is yeah, Roy boy. doing there? Hey, I don't know. He's just sitting there like a jerk. But, you know, Sabu, one of our greatest champions, had that, uh, I mean, he had one of the longest uh, streaks of holding on to that world title and, uh, He's not going to go without a fight. I mean, he knows what he's in for. The, the fix is in. Yeah, the CSC does does know something about streaks. I'll tell you that. And Chaz knows what streaks in his underwear. Hey. <laughs> That's a little cheap jab there. Oh, everybody's back out. Oh, there is a count out roll here in place. So if I was that boo, I'd just kind of like stay out. And I said the, the only streaks are in the women's underwear from the cream pies he gives them. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just don't wipe your dick on the curtains, I'm please. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> They're bouncing off. Oh, Sabu with a move there. Oh, but, oh he goes after the Roy, wrong guy. Roy, 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 yeah, turn Roy, around. Roy, Roy, you know, that reminds me of a joke. Can I tell it? It's a little off color, but we're on a pay-per-view. Yeah, that's true. Go ahead. It's, how do you make a woman scream twice? How do you? You stick it in her ass and then wipe your dick on her curtains. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> Don't send me any hate mail. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> so we get some mail. But anyway, uh, look, now they're rolling them back in the ring. Now look at like a pack of hyenas. Right, so that might have been up to an eight count there. That's cutting a little close. Oh, for, he can't count to ten. <laughs> he goes. He gets up to nine. He goes nine and nine and one tenth. Nine and one third. Oh, he can't count to ten, but he knows fractions. <laughs> uh, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> Those goddamn Australians. Anyway. Uh, look at old, <laughs> old Rednecks just watching uh, Roadhouse lay it to uh, Sabu here. And now he scoops him up going for a cheap uh, little snap mare. Takes him over and now up. Oh, oh my right God. on the back of the head with that drop kick. Oh, don't you? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Been here. Jump on Roadhouse, you dumbass. And, and. <laughs> he missed. Oh, completely. He went too far over and bounced his own ass off the mat. And he's trying to roll over for another pinner. Another quick the referee can't even get to him. There's one. And okay, another kick out by Sabu. Uh, he's like I said, he's he's gonna be in it till the end. Stomping away. <laughs> Back up again. What's this gonna be? He kicks. It's gonna be good. Oh, tries to you know, close line there. <laughs> I, I think you hit Roy with what that the one. What happened there? That was a mess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, Sabu punched away. Once again had an opportunity there. It's, oh. oh, German star suplex. There's one. There's two. No, no, that's a little. A sneaky move, but you're not going to catch him, catch him with Did that. Did you say sneaky or stinky? Well, both. <laughs> for, for him especially. Oh, uh, no. can always smell that up here. Does he, does he, doesn't he bathe? I guess not. Now stomping away. and Oh, oh big okay. splash after Roadhouse laid the boots. Kind of glanced off of Roadhouse. Roadhouse got to get out of the way. Yeah, Rufus bathes once a month. If we're lucky. <laughs> In what, a septic tank? Oh. Uh, could be. Or an arm snapper there. Snapper. What's that smell? It's me. I've been swimming in raw sewage, and I love it. <laughs> uh, you know. Sounds like George Carlin when he was young. Pin one. There's two. Kick out. <laughs> Look out for right there. He missed again. <laughs> for Christ's sake, that's three times. Ah, <laughs> uh, these gonna get matches uh, are great. Somebody get somebody get Rufus some glasses. His depth perception <laughs> is shot. I think he saw the, the referee and thought that was his target. Oh, here's your chance, Sabu, one-on-one. -on -one. I just see. Oh, God, do something, Sabu. You're paying attention to the wrong guy. Uh, now he's just cha cha mm. all over the place. I, I can't believe I'm rooting for Sabu. Oh, right? I think I think Roy was ripe for the pick in there, but he went after Redneck. I don't want to root for these two smelly hicks, but, so I'll just say that. But uh, Oh, there's a whirly bird on the uh, Now you're floor. outside with two men. You're in a bad way. <laughs> it beats being inside with two men. <laughs> what goes on behind closed doors behind the green door <laughs> oh. well in this case it'd be behind the brown door he oh, dropped him right wow. on his head for god's sake that was a move now stop on the back and he's he looking around oh he's biting his hand what the hell he didn't get enough oh, for uh, god's sake that's not chicken fingers <laughs> didn't get enough at the buffet apparently no no it's solved the sabu going in the corner oh, double t oh no just gra grabbing the eyes gouging the eyes Oh, shakes him back. Sabu's in a hurt way right now. Things are starting to fall apart for him. Man. Man. Oh, here comes the, the nasty cousin kiss. Get out of the way, Roy. Oh, there it is. Oh, then Roy comes in with the fist afterwards. It's a nice balance here between these two. Even, even when they hit their mark. And now working the arm. Look at that shoulder clutch. That busts him away. And now right on top of him. It's, like, it's, like two, it's almost like the piranhas. They're just all over him. And now a pin. One. Two. No, I ain't gonna do it. I'm telling you what, he's just, he's hanging in there. I mean, this, we're at the 10 minute mark here, and Gene's getting drunker by the minute, and Sabu's <laughs> holding on. So, so, I wonder if Sabu, somebody told Sabu, can you just get, get this? Oh, wow, that was a move. Get, get this over quickly so we can uh, get, the, get the last interview. I can't wait to hear this last interview. Jesus, yeah. Gene's gonna be three sheets to the wind before the party even starts. <laughs> he was three sheets to the wind four matches ago. Now he's like eight sheets to the wind. I don't even count them. I don't know. Oh, the double team, and now look out, Roadhouse bringing him up. Taking over the top here, and go, he's gonna boing him. He boinged him. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. An old hot shot, and Rufus has <laughs> got bad intentions. There's a pin. There's one. There's two. Why do you keep kicking out, Sabu? Just, just lay down. Because he's a competitor. I, I know, but just, just stay down, Sabu. Ah, oh, God, these, they're really down now. 
<laughs> and there goes the... Uh, he knows this may be his last match. He's in the pay-per-view. He's giving the fans their <laughs> money's worth. <laughs> Kangaroo wiped up by Redneck Rufus. <laughs> Redneck Rufus running around like an idiot. Oh, oh well, we got him. <laughs> Finally, he nailed his target. Well, he nailed, the, nailed something else. <laughs> Just when Sabu thought he had the upper hand. Uh, <laughs> the insurance bills that we come up with because more count out here <laughs> because of Kangaroo Jones. And now, oh, got him. He's going to he's gonna plan him. What the hell? <laughs> Redneck Rufus is humping the mat. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. He's just screwing the apron. What's he doing over there, sick bastard? Got damn humping dog. And now a pin. Get down. There's one. There's two. Uh, I kind of signaled two before the two was done. But, uh, all right. Look at the fans cheering. It, what? It, what happened? What's the... CR, get your beer off of that. What's pick, happening? Pick your beer up, for Christ's sake. What are you doing? The, the, it's on the button. What? Pick the beer up. All right, I got it. No. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, we got a little, uh... <laughs> Uh, the CR seems to have confused the blackout button for his coaster. Uh, well, <laughs> no harm done. All right, I'm we're not, back. I'm not quite as bad as Gene. But <laughs> well, you've had a few tonight, but <laughs> Pete, that's what four or five times. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Redneck, just give it up. Let 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 Rufer, let, let the Roy take care of business. Oh, uh, punch blocked away and <laughs> slamming him. You'd yeah. think all those times he'd have knocked himself senseless, but there's no sense to knock out of him. I know. So. If he lands on his ass, maybe. And now you can upset on him. Oh, oh my God! He, he almost cut his head off. Oh, that'll that'll finish this match quickly. There's one. There's two. He kicks out again. I can't believe it. Yeah, R R Redneck Rufus was at the doctor's office. He was sitting there waiting to get in. The doctor said, "Don't sit down too long. You'll get a concussion." <laughs> and now he biting his hand again. What? Oh, it's that sick bastard. He's, oh my goodness! What the hell just happened there? <laughs> just hit a portal. <laughs> went went phased through the mat, right through Sabu. Things are getting crazy here now. They're they're not even paying attention to the laws of physics anymore. And now, Pound, what is well, he's it? got him in kind of a hammer lock trying to. Oh, now he's see. trying <laughs> to stretch him. Don't you bite those fingers again, you uh, just rolling reprobate up. son of a bitch! And on top of it, Sabu, just stay down. Just stay down, man. You can kick out all you want, but just oh, anyway, yeah. picking them up. Eventually, the big man's going to get gassed. I mean, <laughs> he's expending all this energy and round around fighting he goes. two guys. Ugh. Eventually, yeah. you're just gonna run out of uh, run out of gas. Yeah, he had his he won his retirement. Match. Oh, he's gonna try another top rope. Maybe he'll hit it. Maybe he won't. <laughs> there he is. He <laughs> no, he got him. He got. Him. He did not. Roadhouse shoved him down. <laughs> I, I think he rolled. I think he caught his heels. Maybe he just kind of knocked his heels up from under him. <laughs> that was about it. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch this match over and over again. For God's sake, this somebody, hilarious. somebody tell, who, who's this manager? Fugu, tell him to get a oh, oh, Another cousin lap. kiss. Blah, oh. slap. Oh, oh, my God. Tell him to get him some glasses. Now, <laughs> Roy has him up, grabbing a handful of crotch. Oh, he's hanging Sabu out. Man. What's he going to do? Oh, that picks him up. What is this? Oh, my oh. God. Double knees to the back. That this could be it. You're close to the rope, Sabu. Use that foot. Here's two. Three. Oh. Finally, the four R Club wins. It's uh, a, the only win they'll ever. They're undefeated. <laughs> I'll say that. But yeah, uh, that's probably the only, only match, match they'll ever win. The handicap match, right. much like the Piranhas, but you know. Well, the Piranhas. I mean, the Piranhas together weigh less than Red, Red, Redneck Rufus does. Probably. Because <laughs> of flipping over there. <laughs> There's a lot of replay here. One, two. <laughs> anyway, is uh, we check on check on Gene. Is he is he still alive? Is he coherent? Is he? Uh, well, he's, his eyes are still open, apparently. So, <laughs> just get, get, get him some blow, maybe. Is it legal up in Canada? You know, as long as you don't take it out of Canada, you're fine. Yeah, yeah get, get, get him a little, little nose candy there. And now, <laughs> getting bounced off. This was a great, that was a great move. That was an opportunity. But, oh, and then he turned around with the elbow. And then this is a nasty cousin. That's the most disgusting move. Yeah, that's a sick bastard. But there they are. Here's your winners. They, uh, they no, were basically I, I, here to... To cause some damage, and they, they did that. So I don't know if it's a plus or a minus that Gene found his passport. Yeah. Regardless, I think it was uh, that match was amusing. Just <laughs> so many times the redneck couldn't hit his mark. <laughs> I think it's, I don't think he wears. He doesn't know how to use contact lenses. He just goes blind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you won. Gonna. Oh, I thought he was flipping everybody off. Yeah. Steve Austin move. All right. Anyway, coming up here. Once the, there we go. Uh, we have the final, the, the main event here, Men's World Championship. It's going to be the Gimp versus Wyatt Cash Casey. Come back. This is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. And come back for big main event action here at Horseman Mania. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the big one here, the Men's World Championship between the Gimp and Wyatt Cash Casey. Does the Gimp have what it takes? He did before against the Cowboy. He may have that luck tonight as well. Ah, but this is for the big one, the big black belt, I like to call it. Coming on right now. <laughs> I'll say it, even though it may not be true, I'll still say it. Everybody loves the Gimp. Rub that ass. Yeah, Gimp, there you go. Yeah, everybody loves the Gimp but me, but I'll tell you what, I believe we have a... <clears throat> Gene uh, recorded this interview uh, previous. I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know. Gene, just let's hear it. My God. Thank you. Thank you, CR. I'm here with this Keys guy. Guy again. He's got this gimp. What the hell is a gimp? The gimp. Oh, he's rushing for the title. It, what? It, oh, just. Oh, I don't know. Say something, you nutball. Gene, how about some bread? Something to soak up. You've been doing this too long. Anyway, I can only hope the officiating in this match isn't the debacle that it was in the Inner Horseman title match. The Gimp has been deserving of a title shot, and what better opportunity than here at Horseman Mania? Why, Casey, you've been lucky so far because of those four horseshoes, but that luck is tapped out like you will be after the Gimp rips you a new asshole with the butt plug. Hope you have a lot of cash for that proctologist you're going to need, because, as the man said, fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Well, that was a little harsh. Anyway, CR, he says uh, this Casey guy is going to have his oh, sore ass after this. Oh, I got to go lay down. Back to you. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Obscene Gene, and he is out for the night. Oh, I that think. man... You know what? He'll be at the after party pounding him. I don't know how he does it. I, he gets like a second wind. <laughs> I don't think Keys knew what to do after that. He just kind of went doe-eyed, deer caught in the headlights. Anyway, coming down right now is the world champion, your current world champion for the time being. It is Wyatt Cash Money Casey, accompanied by, yeah, you know. <laughs> we saw Wyatt Cash Casey, of course, in the Men's World Championship. He gives the pony plex to the rubber duck. Yes, uh, we did get to see the rubber duck this pay-per-view. <laughs> uh, son <laughs> but, uh, of a bitch. Yeah, anyway, he pins him uh, to win the to uh, retain the title. Go ahead and have a look at it. Dangling. <laughs> he's upside down. He thinks he's swimming. <coughs> we got he goes. <coughs> Up once again. <coughs> Not a pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. Wyatt Cash Casey pulls out the win here against the dock. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Wyatt Cash Money Casey. And, of course, the bandit is not here either, but I can't handle oh, the bandit. Oh, thank God for that, that hoopy son of a bitch. <laughs> Actually, the bandit is uh, the manager of <coughs> the casket, Casey there. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's robbed a lot of shit. So. Hey. <laughs> hey, let me point out, so far, CSE is three for three in title defenses, so uh, they're going to keep them all in the family tonight. Now, we'll have to see. Now. Suplex. Nice vertical know. suplex on the simp. I mean, the gimp. <laughs> he is a simp sometimes. Now, oh, what is. Oh, my God. Just, did he get a crotch in the face? I don't know. I he, thought he would enjoy that, actually. I kick to the back here. Come on, Gippy. Gippy! That's the Gippy. old guy would say. The Gippy! And, oh, busting the arm. Now, turn him around. Get right. Well, right now, Gimps is taking punt pounding. He he enjoys that part. Yeah, he enjoys the abuse. And there, look who's up on the apron, the big gorilla. Get and off of there, you bastard. He's asking for a banana. Yeah. He I might have a banana, see? Give him a banana split right between his legs. <laughs> a Gimp is showing up. And now there's the oh, side, side rushing legs. You can't. I don't know how. I don't know what Chaz doesn't just hammer the point home. Don't be distracted by these bozos over there. Yeah, it's tough. You got egos like they do. Now, big chop. Your ego always gets in the way. That's a big downfall in wrestling, and uh, we're no different. Now going off the ropes. Boink. Oh, nice arm throw. <clears throat> oh, got him hurting there. Hurt the back. Yeah, why? Well, kind of hit the small of the back there when he landed, but now big European uppercut almost, and he's got the gimp in a bad way. Drops the elbow right across whatever the hell that thing is on his chest. <laughs> right in the ring. He's the target. Now pin. There's one. Yeah, the ring of uh, fire. <laughs> no, that's his. Uh... I know what it is, Jesus. <laughs> Knew where we were going to that one before he got out the gate. Now, another European uppercut. And, oh, yeah, grab, grabbing. Setting yep. him up for a power bomb, but oh, the Gimp gives the him gimp. the old backflip. Gimp got the let. Did he just, <laughs> just hit the Gimp with the chair and the feet? Nice, Keys. <laughs> Trying to hit the other guy. Oh, going to the corner. And a big clothesline. Now, Keys is uh, talking to Gimp. He's trying to call the Gimp over. 
Uh, yeah, you're right, right. He's, well, turn, turn to the side. There he is. Now talk to him. Now he's back in. Jesus Christ. So, uh, communication is hard the, sometimes. The, the desperation is all, already set in for keys. He's been, been interfering already. Now, oh, God. He got his feet caught on the turnbuckle there. Couldn't even land right. And now, talking once uh, again. Wyatt, it, get away from that buffoon. So, so how about some oranges, maybe? Oranges, of pomegranate? Pomegranates are good. I, I'll take whatever. He obviously thinks he's the fruit salesman. Yeah, he's a fruit, all right. <laughs> oh, the, uh, the German the, the something deathlock, the Vulcan nerve pinch, or whatever they call it. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> oh, there's Samoan, so something Samoan. Huh? Yeah, Wyatt feeling pretty good about himself. You better get back on that big mask. Drop him right back on his head. There was a pancaking there, trying to flapjack him. <laughs> that almost sounds dirty. Now, popping the popcorn. What you're doing is popping your boner right now. Hey! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> And it's right back out. He's a, he, you can pound him all you want. He'll come back for more. And punches. Uh, he is sick that way. All he's got to do is get that get that one butt plug, and that's, that that'll do it. He'll get that belt. Yeah, well, and, nope. Yeah, nice try. Wow. I hope, he, I hope he can't fit two butt plugs in there. That's. <laughs> he can fit more than that. Oh right. Jesus! <laughs> Our pen. There's one. No, I'm gonna kick out of that. I only get a one count. He pulls large pieces of furniture from his ass. <laughs> yes. What the hell is that from? I've heard that before. That was the Jerky Boys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, big choke slam. Look, Freddy died. <laughs> uh -oh. Yo, motherfucker. Oh, the, gimp head. the gimp's in a stance. Look out. Oh, Punches. Uh, I was going to go for the ass whipping right now. Oh, no. He, kinda, he muscles out of it. Looking to power his way out and give him a flip. Look at that. Oof. Oh, why is, why is this a lariat? Could this be the lariat? They're going to lay it up. Oh, oh, he just knocked him, him out of his boots. And grab the rope, Gimp. It's right there. He's under the rope. That's one. There's two. Good There's God, Jesus. what just happened? I, well, Gimp was knocked out. He, 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 he took a hit that time. Oh, wow. look at that. He shows what a tremendous champion is. He finished him off in about six minutes. This was a, for, uh, I mean, the, the showcase, the headline match, and the Gimp didn't put up much of a fight. Yeah, it was like a Mike Tyson fight again. <laughs> and let me point out that Chaz did not interfere at all in this match. Chaz didn't have a chance to interfere. <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> what if he had time to do it? That's why he's the finest manager we have. Well, Gimp, you earned your shot and you there failed. There it is. Took his head off. He was out. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he was on Dream Street. I just thought when, he hit, when his head came down, it just knocked everything out of the cuckoo birds when the little stars and things were going all over. So there, oh, look at the strut. There, there it is. is. Hey, a tremendous, uh, tremendous champion. Tremendous, tremendous douche. That's, give me my belt. Yeah, all right, well. Get out of the ring, you peon. I guess if you got enough money, anything can happen for you. So, uh, what are you talking about? It was a clean match for Christ's yeah, sake. Yeah, the match was clean, but uh, you talk about all the, the, the all the provisions that they have and the food and the, oh, the see, nourishment, and the training, and the, and the money. The money's crazy. It, it's it'll just. Well, I, know, I, I, you know, I just CSE riding high, four for four yeah. in defenses. Yeah. Right, it's gonna be a. It's going to be a fun time at the after party tonight. You'll enjoy yourself. Yeah, well, and then... When you're done checking coats. You have to make a few phone calls after this. But anyway, uh, actually, you know, I'll, I won't get into that. Anyway, this is this has been a fantastic uh, pay-per-view event here. When we come back... Well, I hope gonna... we piss off the Sultan and he makes you humble. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, we'll, we won't be back until the last week of July when we return on Friday with more HWA Primal. We don't have a card for you, naturally, because we just don't have to. <laughs> we just need a break. And uh, so with that, I mean, <laughs> it's a hell of a show. We, everybody got some belts, I think, except for the, the scrubs, <laughs> the Fugu and the, the Admiral. Screw them. But anyway, last cl closing words here. Well, I just, uh, it's been an enjoyable time here in Toronto. Uh, a great event. Great calling it with you. Always a pleasure. And uh, somebody get Gene in the car and get him to the after party. Don't let him drive. Get Gene in the ambulance, for Christ's sake. <laughs> get him a stomach pump or something. He's been embalmed. That poor bastard. All right, folks, so we thank you for joining us. This is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. And join us once again at the end of July when we bring back our final season. Thank you, and good night.